Happy New Year and welcome to Four Sided Dive. I am Emmy Award winning Sam Regal and tonight I will not be your 20th Tavern Keeper. Yes, I know this is a little irregular for this very irregular show, but when the crew told me that I was hosting, but we weren't doing any bits anymore, well, that's a hard pass for me. So since I was assigned to be uh, the Tavern Keeper and whatever the Tavern Keeper says goes, I have decided to bring in an actual host for tonight's four-sided dive. Someone, unlike me, who doesn't rely on cheesy gags and bits as a crutch. So without further adieu, please welcome tonight's 4SD host, Abu Bakar All right, all right. Oh, hello, I am Abu Bakr Salim, and I am so thrilled to be Four Sided Dive's first ever host. Our studio audience is on fire. We have a wonderful show planned for you tonight. Marisha Ray and Laura Bailey are in the building, ready to quench your thirst for the latest Imodna details. We'll be hearing also from Ashley Johnson and what she thought of Nana Mori's unorthodox team building exercises and her super cool Super Saiyan fire powers. And as you already know, Sam Regal is taking a well-deserved night off as Tavern Keeper. But he's still here to chat about FCG's latest murderous rampage. And be sure to stick around for the C block because we'll be doing absolutely nothing during it, but having more stimulating conversation. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few show formats. It's 2024, baby. New year, new rules. Welcome to Four Sided Dive. Ooh. Let's do a nice little show, shall we? Welcome back. Let's begin the night with our open discussion segment. All right, what the fuck is up with that? What the fuck is up with that? So, right, the topics are apparently on the menu. So let's see what we have here. We have Fey Realm Therapy, which is about Nana's test, the honesty trial, telling truths to get out of a crevasse? Yes, it was a, quite a large crevasse. It was, yeah. Tell Just a it. big crevasse. <laughs> Hey. Crevasse. <laughs> uh, it was fun. Uh, I. Uh, oh yeah, how'd that work? Did you and Matt really talk about this? So yes, we did. We texted about okay. it. Maybe I can read my texts. Is that your phone? I was wondering. It's so what pretty. I want that, that phone like, case. Did you on just it. get this? Just, it's new. It's brand new. It. It's Wait, new. can I play with it really quickly? Well, I need to see the text. I know, I know. I just want to. Do you remember though, like? Oh, no, no, play with school, it. Oh. Did you ever have the like the pencil cases or the folders that would sometimes have? Yes. That? And then I you think could that was after around my time. Switch. Yes. <laughs> we only had Lisa Frank. FCG and Nana Mori. Right. <laughs> so Bell's House has been having some issues, and so it seemed like a good opportunity to get us in sync with each other again. And so uh, FCG and Nana Mori, aka me and Matt. We're figuring out like what we could do, what what trials or what tasks we could do that would get that's the. A lot of texting. That's a lot. Well, you know. I mean, I'm sure it's for other things. No. <gasps> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's like paragraph. Yeah, but it is paragraph. Yeah, well, we're good. Matt only sends me like a few words. <laughs> <laughs> we have a special I never bond. <laughs> Um, I can't find it. Here, scroll okay. through and find it. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, but we, so I texted, I texted Matt and I was like, so here's what I think we should do. We should do three things. And I gave him the topics, honesty, trust, and shit, what was the last one? It's on your menu, Communication? Uh, Communication, yeah, 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 thank yeah, yeah, yeah. you. Yes. I was like, those are the three things that I think FCG would want to focus on as a group. And then I pitched him two activities for each of those and then he was like okay that's the, you're done i don't want you to know anything more and then he took those ideas and he made them way better oh wow did you find something i found it all just read it this is a lot sam well, just read the best parts <laughs> it's all from you so none of it can be that good <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 
Okay. Say, Matt responded, I love all of these. Let me develop them. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm just going to change it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. These are your pitches. Team building scavenger hunt. The team has got to work on communication, trust, honesty. So right maybe right some there. activities that highlight those virtues. Pretty wholesome. Communication. It, it really was. Yeah. We could even shut the lights off at the studio. Oh, you were saying I was, I was like we could some communicate. sort of skill. Yeah, you say it. We could oh, we could turn off all the lights and we would just have to use our voices to like oh, communicate. Oh, now that's you. Yeah. You wanted to take our visual show yes! and make it to where <laughs> it was completely the blind. audience can't see anything. Yes, I thought it would, could be really fun. Okay, and that would just be a podcast. Yeah. Well, yes. yeah. <laughs> yes, but luckily, Matt did something else. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of fun though. The next one, trust. Some sort of challenge where items we need are to find are very valuable and the players are tempted to keep them for themselves. Oh, oh. oh. But that's that's a good that is a good one. Say. But that did get him to the, 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 um, Blindfold. So the yes. yes. Or so, something yeah. where Sounds like one player has word. to dive down into a deep poisonous bog to retrieve an item which they have to hold with two hands, knowing they cannot get back up again by themselves, so they have to trust that their teammates can rescue them or pull them well, out before they suffocate. That's such a detailed pitch of mine. Yeah, what? That's a very <laughs> detailed pitch. The last one, we didn't do that, by the okay. way. We did no. not do that. No. The last one is no. honesty. <laughs> could be a zone of truth thing. Zone yeah. of truth thing. I thought could you be can't fun. move to the next challenge until you reveal something about yourself. So he that, took that. He okay, took that okay. and ran with it. Yes. 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 All in character, not actually really revealing moments of like truth of yourself. No. Right? Yeah. Character no. truth. No. Okay. No. Character oh, truth. As boring as that. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no I, thought it, though, I thought it was really revealing. Like some of the. Yeah. The, some of the stuff. That's that really stuff cool. That came out. Yeah. yeah like. Everyone, everyone had a few, a couple things that I was like, oh shit, I didn't know that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Like Orem had some good stuff. Yeah, poor that little is Orem. sad. Yeah, Orem's Chetney's was sad. Chetney's. Even Chetney's yeah. was sad. He has oh a God. family out there. Yeah. Did he make up those names on the spot or? Did no, he... we have them. Oh, we got we Alabaster. Them. We've got pepper, yeah. peppercorn. Paprikash. We've Paprikash. got paprikash, which is delicious. You want me to jump in? Oh, yeah, Danny, jump in. Danny, Danny, that's why I'm looking your way. Help! I remember them. Yeah. Help! Am I close? <laughs> they were Danny's cute. Like, they were have, uh, four cute names and one, yeah. like, Fred or something. The, right? They are, I'm remembering off the top of my head, but they are Alabaster, Hermy, uh, Sugar Plum, Greg, uh, Pepper, and Chad. 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 Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, there was a pepper in there. Yeah. But so he's got this, so... I know he's not here. Yeah. He, I don't understand Chetney. I love Chetney. I do too. How? How do you he, mean? So he's got this family. Yeah. He doesn't have any interest in them at all. I, uh, uh, I can relate to that. <laughs> oh? Well, let's make this Oh, about wow. You. Do we need to talk about, about this? <laughs> My family, you know, I don't really care about them much. <laughs> They're really nice people, but they actually make me physically sick. Are you doing a monologue right now? Well, it wasn't supposed to be one, but I'll tell you. This ain't about me, guys. I promise. I'm going to put you on it like Candela. I promise. Can we, whatever, as long, if it's not the, the core campaign, that which I would love, can we, if it's Candela, can I be in that game? Because I want to get with to him? play with you. I've yep. got to, I'm, I'm just giving you a heads up. I am a chaos player. I know you've like, said that. That's why I want to do the our show, the show. Like, is Abu auditioning chaos. for other shows. <laughs> 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 that's what this show is. That's, that's Every basically. 20 minutes, he, he just slates. <laughs> six, foot three, six foot one, London. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I, I love, I love chaos. I'm the, I'm the guy who goes into a bar and is like, I'm gonna kill the king. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Why that's is he at a bar? Yeah, I don't know, man. That's just, just is. Is, you know? That's what it is. That's yeah. your, the king Travis no. would be phenomenal in a game together. Well, this is good to know. So, this is well, this is getting way off topic. Yes, it we is. We have, um, but whatever. <laughs> You're supposed to be the host keeping. I know. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> We have like buckets, like category buckets for certain right. players to kind of give us like a base idea of like their play style. Okay. And then so knowing that you're a chaos player is yeah. good because I'll cool. put you in the like 
will will hit red button Brilliant. category. Yeah, that's the kind of guy. Because you don't want too many of those people no, in the game. Because it then it's just a yeah. fucking nightmare. No, totally. but, but this is good to know. But back on topic, people. Back on topic. Space yeah. Realm <laughs> set up. There was a bunch of reveals. There yes. was Chetney's reveals, which I really still want to delve into deeper because there's something there. He just won't say it. He won't admit I it. I think Chetney is such a cool, like why are we talking about Chetney so much? Because he's interesting. He's such a cool character. And I feel like he's really become, like I expected it to be Orem and he is to a point, but Chetney is fully like, like the heart of the group. Did we say this already yeah. on another four sided five? It doesn't matter. He is. Say it again. I don't watch the show, so. Okay. It's new to me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the heart. He well, really is. He like pulls everybody together. He doesn't like, like he always checks in with everybody. Yeah. And he like pretends that he's like this total hard ass, but he's always the one that like checks in. He does. That might just be Travis. Yeah. It is Travis too. Like Travis always checks it in. Is, yeah. Because like, even there'll be moments in the show where I'm like, it is absolutely bonkers that I'm going to Chetney for advice, but it's just because I want to hear from Travis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta talk to Chetney to get to Travis. Travis, yeah. <laughs> um, but there was other revelations too. Orem had some good stuff that I we haven't delved into yet, really. But like he was talking about his loneliness and yeah. his. Um, and you, you said you both said you all said some stuff that was a bit crazy. Yeah, there's it's more. Still like but, yeah, playing in my head on repeat, legitimate like my head, Marisha's head. You being like, I feel like. I hate that Delilah is watching us and it's me so all the time. It's so fucked up. It's yeah, so it fucked up. Like, like, how much is she watching? How much is she sees everything, right? Yes. Yeah. She's with us, right? But also, like, she, she's she's doing other things with her life. You don't know. So hopefully Delilah? she's not. What is no. she doing? She's got nothing else. She this can, is her life. She might only be able to see through Laudna. Do you remember that episode of... She watches when we bone. Yeah. Well, I know, I, I, so, yes. Yeah, her, character, yes. her character has like a ghost person inside her that yeah, may be watching when they have sex. Who's or like, there? is it like being John Malkovich? Like she gets into your head Real. while she's like, with And can take over? Uh, well, you, so remember, did you guys watch Black Mirror? Yes. Do you Not remember you. that episode where the wife died oh, yeah, I don't and the husband oh. could be like well I, he put the wife's conscious in his head so that she can like continue to yeah, and she, watch her and son he grow like, up her. She was and then he traps her into like a teddy bear yeah. but at the beginning it's like he starts to move on and then he's like dating other women so but she's, she's just, just up like in there watching she's, she's still yeah. watching him like bone other women that's what I think of sometimes. Is is, is it like, like that Black Mirror episode where it's just she's kind of just to watch it and yeah. yeah, being like in a giant mech, you know, suit. That and, she's not fully in control of. But she yeah, yeah she hasn't taken. Oh, she influences you. But she hasn't like taken she, over you. But if yeah. you fail a role, I think she might because there's been a couple. The times wisdom rolls. Yeah, the wisdom rolls are for like that impulse to. How much is her impulse versus yours? Yes. Yes. And I don't know. It's weird having a dead lady in your head. Oh, that's really dope. Yeah. I like that. yeah. It's weird being a dead lady with a dead, dead lady, lady in, in your head. head. Totally Who's the dead lady? Who is it? Double deads. <laughs> which one is the dead lady and which one is the not anymore yeah. dead lady? <laughs> yeah. Speaking of dead ladies. Yes. Mm -hmm. Embracing the darkness within. Uh, yes. Nice, nice, nice. Fuck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole topic. What? The fuck is no, we've, got, we've got Fern and the Shard here. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? What's yeah, yeah, that? yeah. Come on. I mean, let me hear this. Boy, oh boy, did it take some time to get there. This music's so peaceful. It is no, so it is. peaceful and wonderful. And I know we've already <laughs> sort of heard. Like I, I feel like last four sided dive. I don't know if there was one in between, but. Talison was kind of talking about, oh, like, we both did a bad. We both, <laughs> we both severely misinterpreted the assignment. <laughs> and I feel like, but, but, yeah. there's, there's parts that I've been watching back, because I'm like, am I crazy? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes, I am. Well, but <laughs> I, I was just nodding in yes, your yes. statement. 
not agreeing. There were moments where when Matt described it, he was like, it's a spark. So for me, I was like, oh, so it's going to set something off. Mm. And Alora was like, well, you, you could, you could. It could, somebody could, I don't know. There were moments where I was like, I think it, I think, I think you have to take this and it's going to turn you into like this even more, you know, of who you're supposed to be. And so Talison and I were kind of on that page, but we, the second it started, I was like, oh no, <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is incorrect. Well, this we've is also not the right thing to do, and I don't know how to then fix it. Then you spent a couple episodes like not wanting it for yourself too. Well, no, I didn't want it. I didn't even want it up until that point. So there were times that I why talked not? about why, it. Yeah, why, why didn't not? you want it? I okay. Part of it was, and I, I feel like a lot of it because we were on sort of a Ashton-centric. Uh, um, in the story, Arc. like, you know, going towards something for him. I think for me, I was like, oh, this isn't for me anyway. So I, 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 I don't know. Clearly misunderstood a lot of stuff. You know, and it could have gone to any of us. But, you know, Just, I don't know. I felt, I think there was fiery, also a part of me that was fiery. like, I know, but then I thought, like, I'm already fiery. Do I need more? Oh. By the way, it was a shard of an ancient <laughs> fire primori primordial. Ah, oh, makes deity. sense. Yeah. Yes. That, oh, God. Yeah, uh, that Ashen tried to take in, but he also has a shard of a primordial, like, earth titan inside right. of okay, him. Right, okay, cool. And when he put the shard in him, it, uh, like, ripped him apart to, ripped like, his quantum state. He almost, he basically almost died. Oh, wow. He, okay. he this exploded. shit always sounds so bonkers when you're trying to tell it like, yes. in, in a TLDR fashion. He broke apart a million pieces. It. <laughs> yeah. it was and like the TV, the TV and kid brought him back Wonka. Oh, okay. That's dope. Yeah. He lived. But we also watched our friend explode. Oh, it was awful. Yeah. Oh. It was awful. And it was like, I, I, I was... And it, was it was because both of us, and I think both of us, I was like, oh boy. I feel like there's still a conversation that Ashton and Brendan yeah. need yeah. to have. And there was in yeah, because you were pretty pissed at him. character. Oh, so it was an actual playable character. So it was it was yeah. Talison's character. Yes, Talison's character wow. exploded. And also, this was after <laughs> an ancient tree told us not to do that. <laughs> Wait, are you, are you? Is Fern still pissed with Ashton? Or, no, or did no, the team that wasn't. Exercises. I think no, yeah, no, they did. Yeah. I think I, I believe they I did. They did. And the full the. The, the, it wasn't so much the anger towards Ashton. I think that anger was just watching him almost die because of a decision that they both sort of agreed upon. And it was like that embarrassment too, where you're like, this was wrong, this was wrong. I don't know how to like own up to it. But I think a lot of it is, I don't know, I don't wanna give anything away. But they'll, they'll, they'll talk about it, but I, th I think it was, was a fuck up on both their parts, and definitely on Ferns as well. But I think a lot of it was just like, I don't know how, I, it was awful. It was awful to watch <laughs> because we all knew that it was not the thing it that was supposed yeah. to happen. And I was like, can I, ruh -ruh. I couldn't do anything. If anything, always the hardest when you're in a moment where you're like, this is not going this to And it's not what was planned And it just kept going. Like, yeah. that's the it other thing that kept, made it like yeah. terrible is that there was only so many spells we could do to make him keep surviving. Yeah. Yeah. I was fully bawling. Like yeah, fully I crying. Because so I was bad. like, why did I, why, why did I do this? Why did I do this? This was wrong. How did I so, uh, how did we misinterpret this so badly? If but, anything, I feel like this is more of like a cautionary tale for like isolated groups that turn into like a negative feedback loop when you have no like outside you know perspective, perspective. or communication yes because yes. i think because that's what and i think uh for us watching on the side the first and biggest immediate red flag was when ashton was like i'm going to do this away from the group yeah, yeah. which made it that's of all of it, that's what made it feel deliberately that I yes. shifty. Yeah. That I didn't like, know. What are you doing? Because you you at least had the wherewithal. I mean, he was on the last side when we talked about this. But that's where I think there was the red flag for the rest of the characters and us. Where we were like, oh, so you're at least like 
cognizant enough of how bad the situation could go that you didn't want us telling you like, no, stop, don't do it. Yes, that was a little spin for me. I was, that's what the, that beginning, but I was like, oh, oh, this is what's happening. Ah, and I was getting a little shifty at that point. Cause I'm like, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah. This is gonna make some people, and if we would make our table away, bad. Say again? And if we would have fully stayed away, he'd be dead. Yeah. If yes. He, if we didn't go out. running. Out. Yes. I was gonna ask, when, when did you guys, so if I'm understanding this right, Talison's character decided to go away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With Fern. With, with Fern. With her, yeah. And am I right in thinking that you you let them? You didn't actually follow? Well, they... Yeah, we were in we were in the area, but not in the space. Yeah, so right. they pulled him away, like pulled... Talison pulled Ashley away and said, we're gonna do this and go off and do something on our own. And so nobody like followed it because right. they were just going to He kind of it. framed it and like, uh, I just wanna, can I just talk to you over here for a minute? Ah, yeah. okay. And we were like, mm. okay, yeah. we will we'll respect that request. And yeah. then he just did it and like took the shard. I mean, there's, oh, wow. there's a part of okay. me that at least understands, in D&D, it's hard to have alone time. Because yeah. yeah. when you're alone, there's still people there right. <laughs> right next to you listening to what you're doing. And so, like, if you do something that's dumb or you have an accident uh, that you need to get your way out of by battling or cleverness or whatever, it's so it's so uh, easy for somebody else at the table to be like, Oh well, I think oh, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go check, check on, in on them. Well, yeah, I'm yeah. Go check which is what we Aura. ended up doing. Yeah, That's exactly what we did. Because it was like, we, oh, do I hear? Well, I think you had, you used your brain of like, do I hear a disturbance in the force? Yeah, yeah. essentially. To but try and run. find a way to run in there. Some, and sometimes, yeah. you know, you don't want anyone to come like yeah, to your if it's lower stakes. It's like the, you it's just, like the you just want to have a scene by yet. yourself. Like the hag hut when we were in campaign two, like yes. all of us were at the table when each one of us went into the hut. And so everybody wanted to like jump in and like save whoever was in there. But that person in there was having a solo moment. Yeah. So you can't. You gotta just let it yeah. happen You gotta sometimes. let it go. There was also that element too, where I was like talking about it with Talis. And I mean, the only thing we, we really sort of discussed was like, okay, yes, you take you take the shard. Um, I, I don't really want it anyway. I think it's for you. Um, Incorrect. I, well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and what's wrong with it? Shit, I can't remember what I was just gonna say. Oh, that case. It keeps <laughs> you from pushing the These guys on. No, no. we're the worst. This, this, Sorry, this we is are the worst. So I got you told me about the just, primordial tree. I was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I've got here Laudner and Delilah with embracing the darkness. Oh, yeah. Within. So, yes. That was the question? Yes. Sorry, yes. I was a tangent. I, I, I think I made a, no, I made a tangent. No, no, it wasn't. No, that was the tangent. No. Yeah. But I've got it's like. It's a round table thing. That's it's thing. cash. A round table discussion. So, yeah, Laudner and Delilah. He's where's wearing the, salmon. Where's the... <laughs> and I can I salmon. love salmon. And she said it makes me look good. That is not salmon. So is it like, a salmon? Be on that TV, is not mother. salmon. That's lavender. That's like a lavender, lavender. lilac color. Right. Well, I'm used to lavender. my mother lying to me. So, um, <laughs> Lord and Delilah, <laughs> where are we? Where is the embracing the darkness within there? What's what's that? Delilah is the ghost person who's inside of ah, Laudna. Yeah. Right. But so you sort of. There was a whole other thing that happened either that episode or the one before or the one after where you just kind of like- That was the same like, episode. Same episode, you just kind of like let yourself go into yeah, when the you darkness? Yeah, into the, when you went into the woods and she just like kept you comfortable. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, yeah. I, I don't think we've had repercussions from that yet, have we? We don't know. Nobody knows what that it happened. happened. Do you, does, does Imogen know? I knew she was weird as book when we went to find her, but-, didn't but... you ask her about it or something or no? I mean, I don't think we asked about it in game. But yeah. So a lot of trying to remember, I'm... it's also moved really fast since yeah. the shard incident. But I don't you think are, anybody knows. But you are like on Team Delilah now. I don't know. <laughs> in, that, <laughs> in that moment, yeah. were you? In that moment, yeah. Well, I. <sighs> it's the. It's that. That's again, not to do another allegory. Most people go through their day-to-day -day lives without letting the intrusive thoughts win. But, you know, 
Maybe sometimes you have a moment where you just let the intrusive thoughts take over. Sure. <laughs> and I feel like that was just kind of that, like, I imagine not too dissimilar to, like, Imogen having to use a lot of brain power to, like, keep all the voices at bay. It's kind of similar with Ladna, where she has to make kind of like a conscious effort all the time to like repress Delilah until. But we're also getting to the point in the story where all these things that we've been keeping out, like yeah, your kind of stuff, mm -hmm. your Delilah to stuff, even even the the wolf and the temper and like all these things. All percolating. But like they might come in handy. Correct. Yeah, it could mm. be cool. And. And By the end, it's like maybe the big fight. We're just all unleash all of our whole, like all the bad stuff, and let our villains, like our inner demons, fight the battle for our, us. Our avatars. Yeah. I mean, it is. It's yeah. It's <gasps> the. Well, yeah. It's I mean, the dark. It's embracing the dark side just hmm. a little bit. I feel like for all of us, if we get in a sticky enough situation, we can just be like, for my character, I'm a bomb. Yeah. You can blow me up. I'm not gonna. Yes, yeah. but you could if we got in a sticky enough situation. I could do it. I'm a new. <laughs> <laughs> I remember what I was gonna say. Okay, oh. but, because you were saying the thing like sometimes somebody wants something alone. Yeah. There was also that part of me that was like, maybe Talison is wanting this to happen for a reason for his character. Like there's some, there's sometimes it's like hard sometimes oh, where you're like, like I, I don't know if which I should I think be. Think he was. I really yeah. Think he was. That's like. No, no. I I think I knew know what you mean too. Where. Because we're we all we've been doing this so long, and also, at least I have great esteem for all of your acting skills and and writing skills. You know, if you why'd you do that? Well, we're not, we're not, <laughs> yes, we're not, we're not, we're not writing. <laughs> writing skills. Mean, your little, your little one had quotes writing. and the other did not. <laughs> Feels so poignant. I'm not, <laughs> what I'm saying is like, if you do a big move. Like in an improv sense, yeah. if yeah. Laura is like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm fucking wait until everyone's asleep, and I'm gonna go down, and I'm gonna yeah. open this thing. You expected. I want. I'm like, well, Laura has an idea. Yes. I'm gonna let her yes. do this because she is a professional D and D player, <laughs> yes. and so she must know what she's doing. But it turns out. We kind of suck sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it's not the right thing to do. Yes. Well, I think it's, and we all have it, right? We all have those moments where like Matt is probably, is trying to like feed you something and it might be just like, I don't know if you know this, but we're voice actors. Um, oh, right. Just, I'm just dying like, in this <laughs> like, I have to be here for how oh long? <laughs> Oh boy. He's, fine. he's wearing lavender. He's so cozy and chill. He's, he's sitting here. You look so lovely. I don't know why I keep so, like, just so, pointing really out the like door. <laughs> this Salmon. poor boy. Salmon. He's just listening to us describe our dreams, basically. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is a nightmare. Curtroll.com right. <laughs> slash critical dash recap. <laughs> yes. Just real quick. <laughs> Do you, okay, so like when you're in the booth and like, you know, Mary's directing us and she's, it's clear she's trying to get you to go a direction and you're just like, I don't know what you're trying to make me do. Mm -hmm. So I think just like how she's all of us. She's a great director, by the way. Yeah. She, oh, yes, yes. Hire her for all your projects. And amazing. It's a, this is <laughs> it's a fault of fault. us. Our yeah, 100%. Um, but but I feel a like. a great actress. Yes. And a great singer. Did I say anything that implied the opposite? <laughs> 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 She's better. I was. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was um, but I feel like we all have the moments in game too, where Matt is probably trying to is like feeding us something, and you're just yeah. Over but the, other over people will notice. Yeah. Talisons yes. just happen to be something that would turn him into a nuclear bomb yeah. and yes. murder everybody. Yeah, it was a yeah. self. Yeah, sometimes we at the table, it, it's it so clear to everybody else except the person who's in the moment yeah. or in yeah. the scene. They're just not getting it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's I was going to so say, so we've got here, because you mentioned it, Imogen and Ruidus, right? And yeah. We've also got here, FCG and Stress. So hit me up with those two. What what does, so the Stress I imagine is the bomb, right? Yes. Yeah, so my character, FCG, is a robot and uh, he, he has this, he, when, when stress builds up too much, uh, he can attack his own teammates. Oh, wow. And tell him what the, what the, the, how that works. 
I don't know. So that if we I can ever, understand it too. Yes, yes. you've never. Because you never, should tell him how well that happens. Uh, <laughs> I think I, so. So whenever there are certain spells that I cast and features that I uh, uh, abilities that I use. For instance, when I sympathetically bond to everybody. You take stress points for that? I take stress. Wow. When I when one of you gets hit and I'm able to reduce the damage, I take I take that in the form of stress. So yeah. the things that I do to help my allies cause me stress. And some of that stress like That's goes away of, at the end yeah. of the day. Therapists on, need therapists yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. So it's basically I take on the pain of, of the world into me. And it builds and builds and builds, uh, and at a certain point, it has to be released violently. You know what's really cool about this oh. is the fact it's almost, from again my perspective as a as a player thinking about it, you guys are uh, technically you're not only rolling against the environment, but you're rolling against yourselves, mm -hmm. and that's yeah. really cool. Yeah, because yeah. it's like you're, which is essentially real life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Like, yeah, that is really that is something really, really interesting, interesting about this campaign. I feel like everybody kind of created characters that. Yeah, that they're working against themselves. Yeah. In some yeah, way. and it's not just in prior campaigns, we've all had flaws. Sure. Our characters have been flawed, but in this campaign, most of them are actively doing something, compelled to do something that harms either them or their friends. Huh. Mm -hmm. You are compelled to steal in the worst <laughs> moments. <laughs> I fully expected you to try to get Percy's spectacles. Of course. He oh, sets him down on the table. Me. I feel like Matt was letting it. Trust me, I was thinking about it. Glasses. But now I'm now I'm gun shy. But it's not. I'm like no. making a decision now because I'm like, <laughs> what if it fucks up the whole day? Oh, like, no. what if I steal the glasses? I think and that's like, okay that's at it. this point. We've all fucked up the day, so just yeah. do it at this point. That's that's part of what the trust exercise was about. Like, if you're gonna fuck up the day, just say it, and at least we'll know what I'm to expect. Steal these. Can I steal these? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I did not, and I feel like maybe that's growth. Mm -hmm. Fern is that the, oh, that yeah. burning desire but was see, there. But see, I think that's not growth. Oh, okay. Well, no. Tell me no. how. No, no tell me how. Tell me how. <laughs> no, it is growth. I want to know. It is, growth. it is growth. You know what? That's I. Uh, I don't know how to say this because I. I tell us, Daddy. No, I want to know. I want to know. <laughs> I, okay, it is growth for sure. It shows a level of maturity, which is great, and that okay. is growth. But I think a fully realized, a fully. A fully realized fern. A fully realized fern wouldn't prevent herself from doing the thing that she needs and wants. She would do okay. it. But be honest and open about it. She would, she would okay. do it, but own her mistakes. She would do it and embrace that part of her, not, not okay, tamp it down. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna. Oh well. Okay. Yeah. Never not ever do that though. Yeah. She's, like, she's, wait, 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 wait. I think like, you have the same response I was. <laughs> like, you don't ever. This is the worst advice ever. Yes. Like, never ever do. Like, if you if you have an impulse that is going to affect other people, please don't Maybe ever don't. do it. <laughs> but there's something Sam. in that impulse. <laughs> there's something in that impulse that is her. That, that she needs to express And you need to somehow. accept it. And maybe maybe <laughs> she doesn't express it by stealing. Maybe there's a different way of expressing it. But that's her. She's got to figure out what that is. You've got to get it out of you if it's in you. This is therapist okay. FCG coming out. God, I wish yeah. I was this good in the game. I... <laughs> <laughs> but to Abu's point, I think there. I feel like we all have those people in their lives who like to be like cheeky to be like, well, look, like they'll continue to do shitty things and they'll be like, I know I'm just a flake or I know I'm just an asshole. Look, that's, I'm always late. I'm just, yeah, that's just me. And it's like, yeah, but okay, at a certain point, that's not cute anymore. That's true. But the thing that is driving that, I'm a late person, it's uh -huh. probably... Probably, it's probably. I think we all are. <laughs> but it's probably, I'm not. I said it. It's probably <laughs> something like the deeper. The deeper meaning is probably something like, I like the feeling when I walk in late and everyone's there to say hi. Like, what? Or, or, that's not at all what. Or, it is. or, or, or like you walk in and 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 everyone's like, you know, you know, like. Yay, it's, it's, Sam it's, it's here. Are we it's learning attention. something about Sam? Probably, but like, so there. <laughs> But there must be a healthier way to do that than being late, right? There must be a healthier right. way to get what that same response. What an interesting reason to be late. Yeah, I mine know. is so severely opposite. Yeah, What's mine yours? is always You don't want to see people because you're scared of them. Correct. It's social anxiety. Well, there must be. So trying to get out the door is like, whoo, you got this. Mine is just, just I'm turning a, into like a <laughs> 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 
<laughs> See, mine's a whole other reason, which is I'm just a, very busy. A, a, busy and a clusterfuck and sometimes bad at time management. And I look down and I'm like, fuck, I've just been on Slack for 30 minutes yeah. and not getting ready. But that's ready not just an accident. Run. That, that, that condition exists for a reason. You uh -huh. like that work. You need that work. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. You <laughs> want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. I love, this is wild coming from you. Oh, I'm who the has, same oh way. Who has like coke boy energy and yes. you're just incapable. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to Nana and her deals. Oh, poor Abu. Oh, poor Abu. Oh, Wait, can God. I talk about Rudis for a second? Of course oh, you yeah. can. Rudis. Please. <laughs> He said panic. That's kind of all I no, 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 no. You gave into the dark side, too. I did give yeah. into the dark you side, took too. A dream, you took a dream and you yeah. went into it. Okay. Yeah, I did. I went in and I, I so I had a, dr I have a dream about a, <laughs> an evil moon. This is a dream a about a dream. An evil this moon. Is, yeah, it's a, it's a mean moon. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to fight the moon, you. And we, I dreamt that I went to the moon and gave in to the moon and got embraced by the moon and it felt real good like not like a kinky embrace like a a warm familial i feel like i belong embrace that's amazing yeah so why how's that embracing the darkness well the moon is the evil bad, bad moon. well we don't know that it is i mean but I, maybe I shouldn't trust anything I think about this. <laughs> <laughs> here's uh, here's my worry with what you did. Uh huh. I'm very proud of you for for letting it take you. Well, it seemed like it would be good knowledge to have. Of no, not in kinky way. That's <laughs> but like the last clearly. several dreams that you've had, I've. Seen I'm gonna go fuck the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that was that wasn't that was that kinky? <laughs> not in a kinky way. No, no, okay. This episode is just going to be entitled "The Cast of Critical Role Exhausts a Boo <laughs> <laughs> I can like feel you being like, oh, I don't, I don't know, know. What, what is what happening? Is oh God! I was going to say that the last few times you've you've gone a moonin', uh, mm -hmm. like either in a dream or talking to your mom or like whatever it is, and you felt that that draw. Yeah. that pull you've resisted and yeah. resisted and resisted and i've really wanted you to let it go to let it happen and so when you did it this past episode or whatever two episodes ago whenever you did it i was very pleased and happy and i think that's really cool character growth but maybe the wrong time maybe the worst possible time wait why because why we're you know? going we because we're there now we're going there yeah, now yeah, we the best possible time. time yes but like this could be you just i don't know what you i unlocked. might have just like i don't know what you unlocked. i unlock something in myself what if i just like outed us to like them they know that we're exactly like oh, yeah. and now we haven't suffered the repercussions yet. yes so we've just arrived on the moon at the last at the last episode and there's two moons by the way Sure, oh, sure, okay, sure. Great. Don't don't We're confuse the boy. We're talking about really talking about the bad moon. There's, a, there's, there's an evil moon and a good moon. A good moon. moon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a, re a regular moon. But we're on yeah. the bad moon. But, but like, what if you opened yourself up to moon influence? Moon influence. It's possible. That are you, you a moon influencer? <laughs> <laughs> Hit like and subscribe. <laughs> Get that red filter. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I don't know. I'm glad you did it. Yeah. But it could be real bad. It could be bad. <laughs> yeah, like it's like a it GPS. I'll remind y'all, y'all yeah. encouraged her to do it. Of and course. she specifically said, I'm going to have a dream and give in to Ruidus. Yeah. And y'all said, cool. Yes. <laughs> I think yes. it's a great idea. I'm super I didn't go it. off and go, I have an idea I'm going to do by myself and not tell no, you. No. I asked everyone if I should. That is true. And so we you actually asked true. people if you should. Yeah. Interesting. And we supported her poor decision. What if they all said no? Would you have still done Ooh, it? Oh, good question. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Bad answer. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because I. No, because you love people and everyone was like, yeah, sure. You're like, okay, so it's not great, on great, me. Great. Great. No, it's good. And also, we already just kind of got a little little hint that there's like multiple factions there's so much, of Rylorans. Yes, exactly. Yes. So I don't think they're all bad. bad. And the Rylorans. Rylorans are the moon people. Yes. Okay. Who are mostly bad, but now we found that there could they're be not, some. They're not. No, ones. I think they're just regular old people on the moon, and like, there's just the the Trent people are turning some of them bad. 
Yes. I feel like, because even when Matt has described what you've seen on the moon, yeah. the, <laughs> the like the ecosystem there, it's a whole, it's a whole other yeah, it's a whole place. Other like, why does that make it evil? Did he say that there was water? Yes. There's animals. animals there's like, and, and like layers of underground and rivers? Yeah, like caverns yeah. and stuff. Yeah. It's probably the travelers who have gone there who have made no, no, the place no, 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 no. bad. Yeah, yes, the people that have gone there. It's trends. But I thought it was not, a prison. Well, no, okay, so the moon is the a prison also a for, prison. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a prison for Prodathos. Danny's listening to you and judging. Tell me if I get this right, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> well, what we like, think is a prison for Prodathos. Yes. And we think that potentially some of the people that used to be on Exandria got trapped on the moon with Prodathos when it got separated and pulled up. Oh, it was a piece, it was a chunk of our planet that got right. pulled so up and became. So those people have turned into the Rylorans. Oh, so the chunk of the planet could have had anything in it. It could have exactly. had water, volcanoes. And it could have had like sand. good people and bad people. Yes. Huh. At least, right? Yes. Yeah. I was given thumbs up from the sides. Yeah. I, yeah. I walked on to help and then I was like, oh no, y'all got this. And I was very yeah. proud. Yeah. <laughs> wow. yeah. So yeah. I think it's inherently bad or evil. Just. But yeah, Perdathos, I, I think. But I think. And the is, thing yeah, is. I agree. Oh, I'm coming back. back. Okay. The thing is, this happened so long ago. It's happened so, 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 so many years ago, pre calamity, pre the, eight, obviously, the pre 800 years that have passed since the calamity. Uh -huh. It's been thousands of years since Ruidus was thrown into the sky. So it's been, there has been time for this chunk of Exandrian Earth to adapt and grow and become something new. Evolve so whatever was own. taken in that moment be it people, be it caverns and water, et cetera, whatever it was that was there has had this time to evolve. Okay. So whatever was there that Perdothos then was able to manipulate and and as, as it was stated, leaves twisted life in its wake, was able to then evolve under its image, if that makes God, sense. That's how, like, so quickly, I'm like, Thousands of years. There's not a lot of time for people to get really long heads and turn but if red. You're, but if you're, but if you're hanging out, like specifically with a god prowl, they then might. he's like, I like how heads. the Sith, what do. the Sith transform very quickly. Mm, mm. Do you know like the deal with Ruidus? Like as Matt told you, Danny? I know a couple of those things that we don't know. I have a few. <laughs> Just wait a little bit. Just wait a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for taking off your jacket because I thought your shirt said anal girl. Anal girl. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I <laughs> promise I, when I put it on, I was like, people are going to think that my shirt says anal girl. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, you know? Because it still looks like anal girl. Like uh, anal girl? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Brilliant. And I've got here Nana <laughs> and her uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, Brilliant. Brilliant. Where am I? Get my agent on the phone. <laughs> Get me off of this set. <laughs> Wait, what was the question? It was Nana and her deals is the final Nanner? little segment. Yeah, Nana. 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 Nana and her deals? Uh, with Embracing the Darkness. Oh, right. that's right. <laughs> Two people made, but they're not here right now. Oh, oh yeah, yeah that's really right. Two well, we can what? still talk about our opinion of their deals. Do we know? Sure. Well, we, Marisha, Ashley, Laura, and yes, Sam yes, know. Yes, that's true, that's true, that's true. Um, Shit. Chetney, Dumbo. Nana Mori, just to bring you up to speed, mm. uh, Abu, is, uh, is your grandmother? My what if this whole show, instead yes. of like actually talking about anything, we just explained Abu what we do, what <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> this, is, this is what it's about, yeah. like bringing new hosts to kind of explain rolling. to them and they're like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> This is but, uh, what every Critical Role fan goes through trying to explain the show to their mother. Yeah. 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 Pretty much. I'll show to you every shoot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that too. Um, but she's a, she's a hag. I hag. hope that's not a derogatory term for her, but oh. she is a magic she is person. She is a hag. She is a hag. Yeah. Mm. She's basically Baba Yaga without being Baba Yaga. Cool. Um, yeah. And she can grant wishes, but they all come with a cost. And two of our party members made these, <sighs> these bargains with her in the last game. Chetney's was, to be the most famous toy maker in all of these. Boy, <laughs> what a bad, wow, badly uh, worded thing. At all. The most famous toy maker in all of Alexandria could, yeah. mean could mean anything. 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 Yeah. The most notorious. Could mean anything. Or like his toys explode and kill. Yeah, or the stinkiest. Or yeah. the guy. He just does something. Yeah. Makes like himself famous, famous yes. and yes. also he maker. makes toys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
And then Orem <coughs> made yeah. a deal that for, for all of us to get back safely, he That if would, we all got home safe and sound. He would spend the rest of his life with your grandma. That he would protect her. What? Wow. He said, he said in he service. Would serve her. He yes. said he would serve her. So we don't know what that means. Frankly, if I was if I was Orm of the Arashari, I would come out and bring her a sandwich and be like, I have fulfilled the deal of this of this bargain. Yeah, he could, he could <laughs> I have he served you. He that. might be able to wiggle around that. Um, Maybe he's he's figuring that out. He might be out. planning that. Yeah. Um, but the problem I had with it is he just in our in our little secrets sharing episode told us about how lonely he is and how he wants i i feel like he could he could use a love of his life at some point but how's he going to do that if he's stuck in the face <laughs> of serving loyal. well i feel like he she turns her he has more me. of a need for taking or care of the bushes. people that comes before his loneliness yeah i think that the, i think at the end of the day orm is still just I think he doesn't think he's getting out of this, and I yeah. think that he wants to just make sure that everybody else who he believes or who he sees as having more to give in the future. That's so hopeless. I know, it's so, so cynical. It's, That's so, it's so sad, but grief and depression can do a lot to an individual, and uh, one, one bonding session isn't going to be enough. <laughs> To break that, to break that hold. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, have more bonding sessions. Yes, more, well, more, more, yeah. And I do feel like. This also, I'm not Liam O'Brien and cannot speak for him. This is just me who good. watches the yeah, show. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I do feel like this group, more than past groups, we all. I mean, I think we've all gone into like some of our big boss moments, our big climactic moments to be like, well, we might not make it out alive, but I feel like this group in particular is like leaning way more into like, we're not, we're just going to die though, yeah. right? We're all, we're not going to make it out I think because we feel so low yeah. level compared to what else is happening. Maybe. Maybe. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Like at least in the past, like if we've gone into a boss fight, we've been like level 15 in the at teens. least. We're level what? 10? Are we a level? No, I think we're 12 now. Well. We've gone into, 11? I mean, yeah. even in campaign one, we faced enemies that were way more powerful than us, and we did it with a, a hopeful spunk, and and yeah. we didn't, we, I don't think what we were nihilistic, we? Danny. No, I believe that y'all are, I believe y'all are either 10 or 11, I think 10, but uh, either 10 or 11, I don't remember, yeah. but I... Uh, I will also remind y'all, the Mighty Nine, right before they went to the Somnavum, had a whole goodbye yeah, tour. Yeah, we, we were not And positive. Ford had oh, to be yeah, like, y'all, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. we are gonna survive this. What's, so, your, what's your starting word gonna be? Just say it. Uh, what? What's your starting word gonna be? <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at D&D Beyond so I can see what my character sheet uh, level is. I do wanna play Connections, though. Connections is so much fun. I haven't, I haven't tried it yet. It's I haven't fun. tried it yet. It's so good. I'm still stuck on the uh, crossword. It's an, it's Spelling bee is my favorite. Connections is the new New York Times game that's taken the, the taking the world by, world storm. by storm. It's so fun. I love connections. <laughs> is it wait? Is it like a crossword game? No, you get four groups. Of level four eleven. Letters. We're level eleven. We're not supposed to have any games on tonight's show. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's keep, right. Can you tell that we've never had a host before? No, but I think it's great. Uh, How is having a host more disorganized? <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be keeping us in line and all your Very mesmerized. Yeah. Um, but once again, it's just us trying to explain. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm so sorry. The brilliant. chaos. It's fantastic. I'll, I'll never forget evil trees and I'm yeah. trying to fuck them. Uh, race yeah. to ruin us. Uh, oh, we didn't try to fuck the tree. No, the moon. That's no, what but you we could have. We, we did smoke a blunt. That'd with be the tree. easier. Did. <laughs> wow! <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's kind of obvious. <laughs> I'm so excited to get you in on a game. <laughs> yeah. I swear you're gonna love it. Yeah. It's gonna be great. He plays. It's not like it's. Yeah, yeah no, just, I love it. I love it. Like, I do. Yeah. I do. Um, but no, I've got here race to Ruidus. So what? What does that mean? Bell's House collaborated. The last oh, episode, we, 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 we did it. We yeah, I'm going to read this. Okay, okay read, it. read this. Okay, oh, yes, okay yes. read it, read it, read it. Jesus Christ. Sorry. It's <laughs> had a go at me for being a host and being disorganized. Now I'm trying to be organized and you're Sorry. talking. And over. you're just talking over Sorry, I'll just go over it. You know, this reminds me of my mum when I told <laughs> her it's salmon and she did you know, she was like, yeah, it's salmon. And I said, it it's really lavender. does look like lilac. <laughs> it is not. Lilac. Lilac. It's lilac. Oh, lilac, lilac I feel like is spot on. Great. Everyone's lying to me now. 
Bell's Hells collaborated with leaders across Exandria to cause a diversion and infiltrate the Bloody Bridge in order to gain access to ruins. How gross does Bloody Bridge sound, huh? <laughs> Anyway, keep that going. sounds horrible. It's, yeah. Just, yeah. it's just a well, red beam that connects for us that. to the, like the a moon of ill omen. Oh yeah, Ru, this is yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the moon of okay. And prisoner to the super evil cosmic entity. Mm -hmm. Ha! Yeah, that is a bad moon. Yeah. So, yeah is it, Your yeah. promo voice is oh. awesome. Yeah, it is oh, great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys. I, I did practice it on a very years, special twenty-four. Three yeah. years <laughs> drama school training, uh, <laughs> film and TV actor. <laughs> <laughs> Hire me. No, uh, great. Race to Ruidus. We've got diversion here. So what is? So what was the diversion? Please, me. You have some eight oh. by tens in that little. <laughs> I didn't know that yet. Funnily oh. enough, here's was that the one? Yeah. Yeah. That was the meat. Well, I mean, or us to I, I think it was. We were supposed to come up with a diversion, and, and we, just we just kind of didn't. Well, no, I thought the diversion was the the the, the yes, meat the, wagons. Yes, the main diversion was the meat wagons. <laughs> they're called they're called butcher wagons. So butcher wagons, oh, my boy. bad. So people far more powerful than us, <laughs> right. like the really powerful people in the this world. Is they, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> they came up with a diversion while we were trying to get into the hole that leads to the bloody bridge. <laughs> 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 There was a meat diversion while we were going into a hole into a bloody bridge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no! Meat over here. No, they before. created it. It made it seem like they were attacking with a whole army, a but explosion. really it was just a few wizards attacking with like big illusions. Okay. Okay. But they sent with them big giant butcher wagons full of dead animals and blood, right. so that when they got attacked back, they would explode the wagons and blood would come out, so the people would think that they were actually succeeding, they were really fighting real creatures. It just oh. helped the illusion. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Helped so sell that, <laughs> that, that was a good, That's a good that, idea. That, that was yeah, a good yeah, idea because good idea. Matt came up with it. It was Matt. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 was that that was not a, we had okay. nothing to do That's with that. Right. That's what the good people came uh, up with. We also right. had to have a diversion. And then we just did it and we just snuck in. That we was had a, we well, had a couple we, of ideas we, for we diversions. Tent, we had the, the, the tent, tent idea the, was the tent great. Was, you know. Great. Why didn't we do the tent? So our idea. He's a little, by, you're a little fucking turncoat. I <laughs> no, I know. liked the idea. It just didn't make sense in the moment. There were so yes. many things. Okay. Oh, because everything else did? Like, I should have gone with it. <laughs> right before we entered the hole, there's like there were tents on the outside of the hole and okay. like people guarding it, right? So our <laughs> fly by the seat of our pants plan was to sneak into one of the tents and then gust it up in, lift, in like a windstorm like uh. with wind and then blow it around like Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz and fly down into the hole and in the tent. We would be in the tent and no one would know and that. And people would just, just be like, that tent Oh wow, loose. a tent is blowing so around. Okay. Isn't that a great <laughs> idea? <laughs> that is the appropriate reaction. Yeah. Yeah. No, sure, okay. Man. It's obviously as good as meat wagons. I mean, absolutely. Yeah. Jeez. No, for okay. meat wagons, he's like, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For the tent. Okay. But instead, we just walked in. Yeah, yeah, instead we just decided to walk like. in and pretend like we belonged there. Kind of like if you're trying to get into like a VIP room and you just yeah. act I mean, like that, you belong. Walk in with that's confidence. Pretty that's ballsy. the way to do it, right? Pretty yeah. Ballsy. Like, ever done yeah. That? Have you ever tried to sneak into somewhere? You know, fun, funny story, <laughs> right? I don't know why I'm saying this. I uh, I was filming in Budapest at the time, and I think I just finished filming Assassin's Creed, and there was a like a club that we were trying to walk into, and they wouldn't let me in, and I was, I can't believe it. And I said, Wait, why do you they... know who I am? I am the assassin, the new assassin in Assassin's Creed. And they were like, oh, the video I know, man, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Wait, Wait, they they like, knew? You know who you and are? they looked, no, they looked at me like, Assassin's Creed, that's a dead franchise. Oh. And I was like, well, I'll see myself out of here. Oh, no! So I've, I've, tried, I've, I've tried also, this is fucking shameless, this is open. This is, I was only pulling for hosts. Open, we're, like, we're I, once, I once tried to walk into a bar with a friend of mine and they wouldn't let us in because there was a queue and everything and I actually pulled myself up on IMDb. No! Swear you to God. did? And I went, look at, that's me! That's me! Did it work? And there, it didn't work. Of oh, course. And obviously it shouldn't. It fucking work, and it shouldn't work. Anyone who does that is, they, sh they shouldn't be let in anyway. <laughs> I don't know what came over me. I don't you know what young. came you over me. You were stupid, you didn't know. It was know. stupid as hell. I would never, now though, it's it's pretty funny going into clubs because most people recognize me as the guy who wore the silver latex suit. So <laughs> they're like, oh, your father. Oh, yeah, father. Oh, yeah, father. Oh, yeah, father. <laughs> I'm like, 
like, oh, father's put it on, hasn't he? And I'm like, great, right, thanks, dude. It's me and my friend over here, so I that like your true. idea, okay? That was a great idea, guys. <laughs> After spending like time with you in London, you He's like the he's the sweetest guy. <laughs> so imagining like Can you imagine? a younger version of you, you being like, do you know who I am? Yes. Like, okay, and you're like, I'm okay, me. I'm out. <laughs> right. so From what we know of you, that does not seem like something you would do. do you mean? Hilarious. And this is the thing. I don't know what came over me. So I was just like thinking to myself, this is a great. This isn't about me, guys. Let's stick to the fucking program. <laughs> Wait, wait, I have to say something else though that I, I'm such a bad pointer today. This is like, I need Let to be say something else. Yeah, Disney, yes, Disney, Disney, Disney. Disney point. The, you told us you were a big World of Warcraft. Oh, I'm a huge World of Warcraft. Player. Uh, yeah. Like still? Huge. Well, not anymore. I don't really, I, I, there, was a, there was a dream of mine that once I graduated from drama school and had my own place, I would have a pinball machine and my, and my rig set up so that I could then play World of Warcraft for ever. <laughs> like, forever. Yeah. So yeah, I'm a huge World of Warcraft. Do you have a pinball machine in mind? Mm. Probably, you know, the one that sticks to memory is we used, there was this roller disco that I used to go around when I used to play as a kid anyway, but they had a pinball machine of Spider-Man. Um, and it was super cool, like the, the kind of comic Spider-Man, not the new Spider-Man of now oh. today. And that was good fun. And I remember thinking to myself, I'm gonna buy that. And it didn't happen. But, uh. Still time. Because I have a wife and a daughter now. But, uh. <laughs> but no, but seriously though, it was, uh, it was definitely something that I really, I remember, I remember wanting to buy, which is very weird. Again, why are we revealing myself here? Um. <clears throat> so, like, Matt and I were just having this conversation last night. About like, buying Whitney. a pinball machine? Yeah, because it's also a bucket on the screen. Machine. It's a yeah. dream, so right? Have a yeah. pinball machine. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. I know, Danny is also a Like, seriously, yeah. pinball machines. Amazing. Yeah. Well, you could also get Ghostbusters. the Ghostbusters Ghost one. It's because Twilight Zone was Oh, good. the Twilight Zone. Have you guys ever Adam's played? Family. Adam's Family. Oh, yeah, Adam's, Adam's Family. family. Oh, oh, that one is good. I'm yeah. telling y'all, next time, next time we go to the Barcade, I'm going to uh -huh. show y'all the coolest yeah. pinball machine ever. It's the best. Okay. Yeah. It's not the Adam's Family one. one. It's the one. The, there's like gravity. They're like. The ball is metal, right? And there's, I played this and one. And then you drop it on the ground and it falls. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, what? No, there's a, couple, <laughs> there's a couple of like nodes. I forget what it's called, but there's a couple of nodes in the game where if your ball goes near it, Over it, it? it like magnetize, like it draws, oh, cool. uh, draw, it like orbits around these things because it's drawn by mag. mag that's cool. Oh. I there's the one, there's the stranger, um, at a place nearby, there's the Stranger Things one, and it's really funny because you can piss off the Demogorgon, and it's this little, like, animatronic, and this, like, the, it drops, a wall drops, and it's like, ah! <laughs> and then you have to get the ball in its mouth, and it's like, ah! And that, I don't that's actually it. think that they still make pinball machines. Yeah, yeah they do. Yes. And they're getting so fun. crazy yes. now. Like, the, because, like, tech is only getting better, so, yeah. like, Pinball's so Crazy. fucking good, you guys. Yeah. I love pinball so yeah. much. At uh, Sony Studios, have you ever recorded over at Sony Studios? No, I haven't, no. Um, they have like a bunch of pinball machines in the waiting room when you're in the green oh, room area wow. before you go, so yeah. Okay. Cool. There's a new bar in Hollywood that's also a vinyl, I don't know why I'm doing this, a vinyl. <laughs> this audience. Half vinyl, yes, I know, what is the show? <laughs> half vinyl, <laughs> half, half record store, half pinball <gasps> bar. But this what? is in like what? downtown Hollywood. It's like straight in Hollywood. So it's like, yeah, it's. Well, you can also, cause there's place, there's like people in LA where you can, you can like commission them to make custom, like one of a kind pinball too. Ooh. You can, so, can we can make a pinball machine? We should bring back all of them play just for that. Just, just ready for the Wrap up the show, let's go do okay, it. Okay. <laughs> The bloody bridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Wait, did we oh, cover God, that? Oh God, were we talking about it? Well, no. So we're there. We we, we yeah. blocked up we in the. We are currently. Now. We are there. Locked up in the yes. bloody bridge. Okay. And I don't have any idea what is going to happen when we start the next game. I don't no, know. No, we ended this game by going to the moon one at a time. Which There's was, an angle. Which was scary because. How did you travel through the bridge? Through the bridge. Okay. You had to it's go like a, a teleport and get sucked machine. into the, right. the bridge. Yeah. Okay. There's an angry like the polymorphed ferret waiting for us oh, on the other side. that's right. Possum. Possum. Oh, possum, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Possum. Yeah, so we went through this this rainbow bridge type thing to get to the moon, and someone traveled with us, a bad guy who has become Been a possum. possum. So when we land, 
the possum's going to be there and going to attack us. We'll just pick just him up. Just throw him back in the portal. But I do think any of the other animals. things could also go through the bridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They could come yeah. after us. And we have this spell on us where we can turn into clouds. Boy, this sounds fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> he plays. Yeah, he knows that spell. Yeah, it's a minute to activate. Yeah. Maybe we have a minute. So we have to run and hide. But like, run and hide think about how go. guarded the bridge was on our side. It's probably pretty guarded I on the other side. I was thinking that too. What are we getting out into? Are we going to come out and have another big battle when we land? <gasps> oh, a minute God. is a long time. I mean, yes. It's like yeah. 10 rounds. That's 10 rounds. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. why would nobody be on the other side? Of course there's somebody there. Yeah, so we, we got to run. We probably got to land and run. Mm. Oh, my God. It's time for a question from the Tower of Inquiry. <gasps> Are we doing the tower? Normally on this show, the cast pulls a block from the tower, reads the number on it, and Danny Carr reads the corresponding fan-submitted question. But those were the old days when we had bits on four-sided die. <laughs> no so, more. Danny, what is the fan question number one on the spreadsheet of inquiry? Out. No, we're not! We're doing spreadsheet of inquiry! Right. There's no bits. <laughs> I'm really so, like playing that tower. You can just play Jenga when we go. No, there's it. no games, there's no fun. No, no fun. It is, fun it it is spreadsheet. It's, it's okay. printed. Yeah. A4. Show today. Thank you. So this is our spreadsheet. It's oh, very yes. exciting. <laughs> On an iPad. Is it um, Excel or Google? <laughs> Never mind. It's Google Sheets. Okay. Cool. Um, so that we can all, you know, go in and like work cool. on shout it. Shout out Google Sheets. <laughs> shout, shout out. Look, man, it's me and Google Docs. Even a real. World. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's just me and Google Docs living our lives. Um, so. Could we create so, a filter though, like a red stormy filter like an instagram type filter like Probably. that one that you found the other day where like you we oh my god bold glamour shut up <laughs> bold glamour a glamour shut, shut up, up. <laughs> sorry danny go go i'm waiting <laughs> <laughs> ruby asks Jesus, you're watching TikTok no i'm pulling the up the show. filter <laughs> Let me know when y'all are ready. We're, We're ready. ready. Yeah, yeah, ready. ready. Give us 20 minutes. <laughs> Ruby asks, as an actor, what part of your character is the juiciest to dig into? Was it something you added intentionally or did it arise organically in play? Well, when I play my characters. <laughs> I mean, additionally, tell us. Oh, I, I, I want to know. Oh, How do you collaborate to facilitate those situations while in game? Sam, did you have a specific thing you wanted to say about the question? Why me? <laughs> because you spoke over me. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm so... I know, this is what I'm talking about. Wait, Wait is this is, the is this? bold glamour? Look at how... Damn. Are you saying yeah. bold glamour? Yeah, oh bold. My God. I know. Or I bold. Said bald, she was saying bald glamour. You, look, you basically look the same. Why do you look the same? <laughs> it's not... Wait, wait, you're going to see it. Hold on, man, you're going to see it. Oh. 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 Weird. I don't like that. I'm very, no, I'm yeah, very no, me sorry. neither. I don't like it. We should post these. Oh, I'm not filming, so <laughs> we, should, no, we, should, <laughs> we should post them because oh. otherwise the audience is like, what don't are they looking you at? You know what bold glamour is. If you're on TikTok, you know. No, but they would edit it in so the people could see. The question was sorry. about character. <laughs> character. You asked the question. It's about character and, and the juiciest part of your character. In um, acting, in, right? In, yeah. And what was it? Pinky. Was it uh, conceived ahead of time, or is that something that came yes. organically to the Sam? Oh, hi. <laughs> Um, I feel like we all come into these campaigns with some some juice, some juicy bits to mm -hmm. get into, but those don't last very long, or at least they shouldn't. Like, they're not they're they're not as good as the stuff that we develop organically as we go. I feel sure. like there's all there's some good there's great there's great stuff. Um, your stuff with Delilah's great. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just not as juicy as the stuff that we that you discovered with Imogen as we went. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I I prefer I prefer to find it on the way. But you do have to come in with some stuff, or else you're just gonna yeah. be floundering. I have I have enjoyed like uh, uh, of course like diving into the relationship is always fun, but then like relationship tension oh, yeah, mm -hmm. that's also that's fun yeah that's the best. yeah i feel like you guys are really big on you really like relationship conflict too like you guys talk about that a lot of course yeah i like it too because but i don't have any in i'm real yeah. life. terrified of conflict <laughs> and it that translates to the game as well i don't like conflict you don't like conflict in even in the game in this dramatic game storytelling game that we've made together no 
You don't. I don't you like just want fighting. Everything to go fine. Yes. Like if we're having a fight, I will be. I'll be like, it's okay. I'm not mad at you, SCG. Oh, wow. If you do something I'm the wrong, opposite. I'd be like. I want. Okay. I want all of you to hate me. Me too. I. I love <laughs> interparty conflict, but in life, hate conflict. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Hate it. That's why I, th I think that's why I like it so much in the games because I hate it so much in Maybe. real life. Yeah. I feel like anytime there's conflict, you and I are both like. I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stay here. <laughs> that I want it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. What about but in you? game. Me. Yeah. What? 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 What do you? What, what like do you conflict? like sinking your teeth into when you're playing? You know what's? I, it's funny, especially when it comes to, when it comes to D and D. Um, I try and I try and come with a, not a lot, but enough, and then I try and discover the character as we go along. Yeah. Because I think that's the most fun and exciting. Yeah. And yeah, also, you think you know, it's so locked in. No, and I, but I think I think when I started before, I used to be really like, this is where my path is, and then as I've kind of gone with it, I've been like, ah, I don't fuck it, I'm gonna see what happens. <laughs> yeah. And like, yeah, I I think I'm much, I much like that journey, especially as an actor, right? You would like enjoy that journey of going along with it and discovering it as you go along, um, as a whole. Because the things that you do the circumstances you find yourself in shape your personality even now, right? Mm. So it would make sense that it would do the same thing for- You've gotta got also have a group of people who are cool with that too, right? Yeah. Because otherwise it can be weird when you have someone who's like, no, that's that's not cool, or that's not fun, that's not part of the plan. Like, I think when everyone is kind of in the idea of like anything could happen, I think that's like the most fun games Magic. you can play. Yeah. Do you play with a bunch of like RP, Heavy yeah, people. Yeah, like yeah. like I've got two groups. I've got a group of people that I play online with, um, and then I've got like you know for like it's it's, uh, it's what is this like Blades in the Dark kind of vibe. That oh, kind of cool. Stuff, which yeah. Is awesome. And then I've got the classic D and D game that I play with my friends, uh, who I grew up with from school, oh. um, and that's like that's just hilarious and wrong in so many ways, <laughs> but. Uh, Great fun and like yeah you can you you can find the dynamic is so different because then you you know when you're here with my friends it's like anything goes yeah. you know and you feel like yeah just go for it whereas it's funny like you do feel like as soon as the camera's on sometimes I think there's a moment of you that's like do I go there and I end up going there anyway because again chaotic player but it is it's it's very again the team are very 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 kind of uh, supportive yeah. of madness. And I quite like that. That's great. That's rad. Yeah. Supportive of madness. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. That's cool. Honestly. Is that another question? Sure. There's so <laughs> many questions on the spreadsheet of inquiry. <laughs> Woo! Uh, let's see. From, what's number two? Luke.Calhoun on Instagram. Throughout the campaigns, there are various plots and subplots that player characters and non-player characters choose to become a part of. What are the determining factors for you when deciding whether or not to pursue any of these threads? Were these rewritten to be businessy? I feel like these, oh my God, <laughs> would that be funny if like they're, they're businessy because it's spreadsheet. I feel like we're in a beauty pageant and these are the like uber complicated such as oh, yeah. like, in the interview. <laughs> Laura, this I is no I personally bits believe, <laughs> sorry, no, no bits. Um, <laughs> also, Sam doesn't like these questions particularly. I love these questions. And so we specifically <laughs> went through and picked the very serious questions to put at the top. I love them. Nice. Or we can ask about the ice cream flavors. <laughs> you can assign your We have no bits because flavors. of something you said, Sam. It might be, it might be. <laughs> because of you? Because of me. <laughs> wow. I liked the bits, Sam. <laughs> well. We'll get some bits back. Will we? We just said to strip Will the bits. We? To, yeah, you have to. And now we're gonna add the bits. Get the bits back. <laughs> we'll get bits. What if this we'll, episode we'll is the bits. highest rated episode? No, no bit. way. And no bits. Well, like, maybe. We hate it. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe. Maybe. Well, maybe. <laughs> this one over here. Um, so much more aggressive. <laughs> I know it feels so much more. <laughs> what about there you? was a question. <laughs> Sorry. Why question. do we choose the subplots that we choose? <laughs> And Matt is pretty good about oh. giving us some options, especially early on in the campaign. There were some threads that we could have pursued and didn't. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I don't remember any of them right now, but um, what this this campaign in particular feels like anything moon or moon adjacent is the thing that we do. Right, like focus on that. Yeah, but... Um, so but yeah, this, group this, interest. This, yeah, that's the thing. Like everybody's kind of. What do you think about this? Could this it? Lead? Yeah. 
think as soon as we heard the word moon, and we were like, oh, we're going, we're going to the moon. To the moon. Yeah. That yeah. was 80 episodes ago. <laughs> we did get pretty laser focused. Um, but we just did a little tangent to go to the Fey Realm. Yeah, mm-hmm. which was great. And that, yeah. that was, why did we decide to do that? Because we... Because she was, wanted to see her Nana. I know, but there was Nana. no like plot reason to do it, like other than just emotionally we needed it. And because we could like... Legitimately get some downtime without fucking up the timeline. Yeah. And it felt like everybody was like mm-hmm. bubbling. Yeah. yeah. Ready to burst. And we didn't want to do that in in a time where we needed to have our shit together. Yeah. So it'd be like was the, grouchy. it's the last midnight <laughs> in um what's the song in Into the Woods? Into the Woods right yeah. before it's the last Oh yeah, yeah, I'm with That's you. what it would have been like us fighting the moon. You're right. You're the one to blame. You're, You're the, the one. one to blame. You're responsible. Yeah. We got on the same page-ish. Song your fault, which leads into last minute. It's your fault. All right. That's that's why I said the song before. It's yes. last minute. It's been another question. Oh, we one more. Okay. Yeah. We choose those ones because we like them. That's why we choose them. Yeah. yeah. They seem like the most interesting. Yeah. But also, Remember in campaign two when Matt was like, "You can join the Empire, everything, or you can join the Resistance," and we were like, "Well, we hate all these. Yeah. Let's go to Rosana." Yeah. <laughs> and we didn't do it. And you, <laughs> Pretty much, no, we no, like laid out fine. like three things, and we were like, <laughs> nah. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> much right. of a commitment to choose one. Is there a third option? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. That's kind of what happened. We're gonna dig underground for a hundred miles. He's like, you can't. Yes. You, it's too far to dig. We're gonna keep we're trying. Gonna, gotta be like <laughs> secret <laughs> menu option. Yeah. yeah. Like, we're gonna turn into a giant mole and keep <laughs> digging. Yeah. Right. Who's Finally, we made it. Thing. <laughs> From Sayuriel, Sayuriel, what are three visual details about your characters that you enjoy seeing in fan art? Oh. I.e. weapons, accessories, poses, symbolism, palettes, emotions, slash great, That is a great question. That is a really good question. These are fantastic oh, questions. What incredible questions from our audience, from our critters, who can submit these questions by going to critroll.com slash tower. Yeah, oh, plug oh, slash not tower anymore. Oh, slash, spread. slash spreadsheet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Same URL. Curl.com slash spreadsheet. <laughs> um, I know personally, I love seeing people's interpretations of Lobna's form of dread. Mm. Mm, the yeah. more like spooky and creepy they they go with her. Awesome. And pate too. It's fun saying the different pate versions. I like the fan art where Boy, I don't know how to describe it, but where like FCG is not a robot, but is like a human. Well, yeah, like I've seen interpretations of like it spells hells, but they're all like in college, oh, high school students yeah. or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like the modern age. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, those are fun. That is cute. I like that stuff. I like when I see freckles on Imogen. Oh, like freckles. I that's like cute. glasses on Imogen. It's super is, I have never made glasses? a canon, but I but really like the look of it. Glasses I love it. fan art. This is so, so cute. cute. She's around. such a fucking klutzy yeah. fail. You could retcon so. it. Like, we're up on the moon in these dust storms, and like, oh, Laudna, you wear my goggles. You, can and I, then you're like, oh, oh, I oh, I hurt my eyes can from I permanently in the glasses now. now. Can I say something about the game? <laughs> I <laughs> told Matt. And I had talked to Matt about how I wanted to have glasses, and like yeah. I'm like, I just need to find some glasses in game. We just need to find them. And then we did, and they gave, and I think it was you, you gave them to Fern instead of giving them to me. No, Ashton gave Ashton me those. Ashton gave them to you, the... and nobody gave me the glasses, and I didn't want to ask for them. And then you gave them to, to our daughter. No. You gave them to Gwendolyn. Oh shit, I did. And now we don't have any more. I was like, I never got the glasses. Oh no, I didn't know that. And I would have given them to you. Were they magic glasses? Yeah. glasses? They were, they they were, were eyes. They were too charming. They yes. made you more charming. I well, wanted them so have an fucking bad. Slot. I know. Go <laughs> steal them from that little girl. Go and so ben. yeah, I had been like, I'm going to get to have the glasses. I'm going to have the glasses in the game. And then they were gone. You should have said something. They've been sitting in my inventory and I've been trying to figure out what to do with them. You should have said something. Where did we get these glasses? You need to we be honest and, and open with each them other. And she gave them to me. Yeah, it happened before yeah. our trust exercise. Dang I it! That should have been my secret. You don't remember. I said in the crevasse. You should. Oh, okay. I don't remember. Yeah, in the crevasse. <laughs> Not yeah. to get you for your secret Santa present. Um, yeah. I'm sure. Like, I, oh God, I just love the fan art so much. I just love it so much. There's so many talented artists out there, and. 
I love, I, I just like, I obviously wanted to create a character that was very sort of like pinupy and curvy. And um, I like when people sort of, I like everybody's interpretation of the characters. Yeah. Like, yeah. Fern is like, all, like no matter the interpretation, it's always great. Yeah. And I think it's a vibe. Like I love when artists, because a, a lot of times I feel like there's, there's, some ferns that I've seen where there'll be like a smirk or just like, I like when they add some little personality in there. Mm -hmm. But I just love all of it. Like I, yeah. I and I, any, I have a, 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 an album on my phone and I just keep them on my phone. Yeah. Oh. And I love them and I'll change my wallpapers. I just love yeah. them. I like when they play with hairstyles too. Yeah. I like yes. seeing everybody with different uh, like yeah. hair lengths. Yeah. 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 Well, Thank you, Ruby, Luke, Callahan, and Cyriel. I'm sorry I mispronounced your names. I get it all the time. So no. just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and look, and if you have an evergreen fan question for our spreadsheet of inquiry, you can enter it at critroll.com slash tower. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Are you the host or am I? Oh, I was just oh. hyping you up. Ooh. <laughs> You're a great hype man. Thank you. I really, I feel Thank it, you know? You. Um, well, look, it is time to slide into the deep dive. Woo! Danny, do we have some deep dive questions for our guests? Indeed we do. Oh, we have, we have cups. Yes, these are for gonna... you. Oh, well, thank you. You have some beautiful cups. Jesus, all of these cups? Cup. All of them. Cups. Damn. Wait, do, 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 he's going to oh, you're going to make her. Normally we'd have the cast pull from these any... cups. No bits, no, no bits no, allowed. No, 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 but, uh, oh, thank you. Oh, wait, are we? Oh, you're pulling from them? Yes. That's funny. Okay, I like that. One by one, no, normally awesome. they pull from these casts one by one, no but bit. you see, since I am the host, I will be pulling the questions and asking them while it rests on my well, breast. Which one's your favorite cup? Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's a great first question. Which which cup do you like best, Abu? I like the flowy. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah you do. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lean into it. Okay. Thank you. What have we got here? Ashley. Mm-hmm. How does Fern feel about Chetney taking a deal with Nana? How would she feel if she knew Oren had taken a deal as well? Ooh. That's right, we don't know. That's right. Wait, does Fern know that Chetney took a deal? She, she does. Chetney she knows that Chetney did. She does Chetney not did. know Oren okay, okay. took a deal. Um, he did that one in secret. I think she thinks it's fantastic. Like, anything that Nana could offer, I mean, Fern obviously thinks the absolute world of Nana. And I think she is not necessarily, uh, well, hasn't seen sort of the repercu repercussions or consequences of deals gone bad. So she doesn't fully know what can happen. She saw bush people. But she, she saw people but, made a bush. But up. she doesn't know why they're that way yet. Uh. But, but. For all she yeah. knows, these people tried to kill her. That's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that 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 was that was She's prior like, Nana to has her, her time. Reasons. Nana has her reasons, and you know, uh, I think she's excited about it. I think she's excited about it, okay. seeing that they're making deals. And I feel like for her, it's like, oh, you must love my Nana then as much as I do to sort of make a deal with her, because you want to still be in her life. So. That's her view on it. I have a question for you guys. What color is this? That's lavender. Periwinkle? Right. What the fuck Harry am I wearing? Lilac. Sa salmon. <laughs> salmon. You, this is that, lavender. Dan is wearing salmon. Is that is closer to salmon. That's than closer that's, to salmon. That's yes. coral. Well, yes, that's but it's coral corally salmon. salmon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You look beautiful. Thank you. So do you. Okay, thank I'd you. go periwinkle with the cup. The Yeah. I'm going to look up another. From the lavender cup. That's me. <laughs> I'm, I am. <laughs> this is for Marisha and Laura. Oh. How are Laudner and Imogen feeling about the state of their relationship right now? Delilah is once more part of the equation and Imogen is more drawn to Ruidus than ever. I mean, this is a lot of juicy stuff yeah, that has to be is. resolved. No, we haven't game. talked about we it. We haven't in talked. Game. No. So it feels weird to say it at this point. Have a scene right now. <laughs> I'll be like a little. Uh, and you guys are about to, and then talk. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, I mentioned earlier. I definitely still have the like. 
that playing in your head a lot. Yeah, Imogen being like, it's weird that she's back and watching. I think I was pretty, so, like, aggressive with my terms as I said it to her. I said I was disgusted at the fact, of, like, thinking about Lot of, of Delilah watching it. And you were like, and Lana's just be like, oh. oh. I mean, that's going to affect you at intimate times. It would, 100%. Or Ooh. make it better, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a little like funner. <laughs> <laughs> each other holding back. Well, yeah, especially because, like, I've stopped wearing the circlet now, too. Wow. God, that's so. Right. Oh, yeah, you, so you can hear again. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Yeah. I think it's exciting. We've, uh, at least in game, we've always had happy relationships. Yeah. Wow, though, how could any, I mean, not just you two, but and a relationship where one person can hear the other's thoughts all the time, how mm -hmm. would that ever work? Well, let Ashley Johnson tell you as um, she was what in women What want. Women Want. <laughs> 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 there will happen to me in a whole ass movie. I will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> All right, let's go for another one. Here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Sam. Ooh. Yeah. How is FCG feeling about the change bringer after the conversation in Whitestone? He seems to trust her less now. Mm. For sure, he trusts her less, but there's not really a lot of options. It's not like I can go god shopping. The gods are under attack and they're- Radothos, evil Dothos moon. Radothos will eat the, right. the gods. He's trying to eat the gods. Wow. And so far, okay. the change bringer, <laughs> my god, the change bringer has only helped, has acted cagey, but has not done anything to hinder or lead us astray as far as I know. She's only been good and helped us, so. Just flipping her hair in your yeah, face and- just and like, and... <laughs> protect me. Oh. Oh, that's all in interpretation. It could also be, protect me. <laughs> wow. True. True. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Did she, I'm, I guess I'm on my, I'm on guard a little bit, but I don't have any other options. Wait, didn't a god talk to you? <gasps> that's right. In the last game? the Storm Lord. You did. Oh, Storm that's Lord. right. You did. Yes. Wait, how did that, oh, Groon. Groon. Yeah. Groon was like, Hey, you want to talk to my god? Oh, it was awesome. He basically was like, I can three-way us right now. <laughs> <laughs> Get him on the line. Are you a storm lordy? Oh, of course, that, that makes mean, sense. That makes so much sense to me. I was like, I don't know why I don't. She's and, got lightning powers, thunder And that's one of the other things that like, I revealed in the, the honesty crevasse <laughs> 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 was that I had reached out throughout my life to the gods and no one had ever I had never yeah. heard back from anything and had no signs and and it's like especially like well fuck them then if like you reach out and the change bringer is talking to you and and yeah and I'm an asshole yeah and like you're getting like but you get instant feedback right and like yeah. Orm gets instant feedback and it's like I've reached out so many times and there's no signs nothing like no that's a big deal can you refresh me was it a positive interaction or was it just sort of intimidating and, and first first uh, contactee uh he said um i don't remember what he said but was it like i feel like it don't could remember have been the this up. Yeah. yeah i i liked it you liked it it I was it, it was very and don't fuck it up yeah, yeah. like i see good yeah, things yeah, in yeah. you don't fuck this up yeah yeah that's an invitation it's cool yeah. i feel like it could go either way between like i'm watching you to uh, just a little bit threatening <laughs> Hot. Hot. That is, yeah. <laughs> well, you can summon him pretty easily. You've got lightning power. I took one from the... Uh, the that's the, the Laudna. That's you the have heart. my eye. There is one. greatness in you. Do not yeah. let us down. Right. Do so not cool. let us down. <coughs> oh, that's like oh, a lot of pressure. bringer -y stuff, too. Uh, all the gods right now are saying don't. They're so demanding. They have to be. <laughs> they're about to die. I know. It's like your gods. What are you, what are you asking me for? Yeah. What is a god not demanding? Yeah. That's well, true. That's true. Fair enough. <laughs> true. Marisha. Yes. Despite Laudner's own nerves about their cha chances on Ruidus, she was the one encouraging the others about the moon and encouraged Fern to take the shard. Is this Laudner's resilient optimism coming to and the forefront again? Hmm. That's a good question. 
It's really wordy yeah, too. I, <laughs> I think, um, yeah, I think Laden is always going to try to be optimistic, maybe to a fault. But I think Laden slash, Mar slash Marisha is also a little like, I mean, as we've said, like season of the witch, like really wanting to, sp I don't know, especially the ladies, like Lean leaning in. into giving and in, giving into the power just yeah. a little bit mm. so giving into that witchy bitchy power mm. witchy bitchy power okay i think it's that it's a little it's a little chaotic a little optimistic but also a little a little scotch of that kind of probably power hungry kick that she has running in the back of her head <laughs> yeah dark as fuck <laughs> 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 Ashley. Yeah. What was it like for Fern to go off on her own in the woods of Whitestone? Did she consider leaving Bell's Hells or did she just need some space? I I think she just needed some space. I think as we've kind of uh, kind of talked about before and, and earlier four sided where Fern is obviously really uncomfortable with um, showing her emotion. <laughs> I'm so comfortable with it, me, <laughs> Ashley, so <laughs> it's definitely not, um, no, I think, <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's just like, this is a lot of tension, there's a lot of, of just, I, I don't think she knew how to handle what was going on, so sorry about the mic, um, she didn't know it was how to handle, so it was like, I'm gonna go be alone, and just try to try to deal with this on my own and then come back in a very unhealthy way and pretend that everything's fine. Um, even though we had our exercises, I think at some point she will get a little bit more comfortable with being able to talk about her feelings. But I think it was just like one of those, where it's like, I, I, I gotta go, I gotta be alone. I need to be alone. I don't wanna talk to anybody. I don't want anybody to look at me. I'm gonna go be alone. I mean, this is a lot about your, kind of your childhood, right? You're the people that you talked to were like little creatures. You didn't yeah. have anybody that was on your equal footing of like keeping you accountable. Yes. So something that kind of dropped in as like a little Easter egg, which I don't know if anybody caught it. Or maybe, well, we've kind of talked about it. But the, I said like when I would get lonely, a new creature would always show up. So. Nana would Whoa, send in like all of a sudden, you know, Fern would out be out in the woods or I'd be out somewhere and she would meet a new fun creature. Um, bompers or peepers. <laughs> um, so I think that was an effort of Nana to try to like make her life full considering the conditions that she grew up in. Um, but it's like that is my version of like I homeschooled through high school, so I'll always feel like a weird homeschooler. So that's sort of like how Fern, when she's with people, is like, she's like a homeschooler, if that makes any sense. <laughs> yeah, like where you're like, sense. they don't really know how to like interact with people sometimes. Me, me I guess. <laughs> where it's like, that's kind of that thing, where it's like at some point she'll grow up and figure out how to interact with her feelings and people. You know what's really cool? I just had a, sorry, I just had a moment there, just listening. Like, this is so cool. The fact that you guys are talking about your characters in such depth, like, and so, and there's just so much going on. Like, it's rich. Like, it's it's exciting. And it's like, I you know, I, I think of other people who play D&D &D or any of these, like, role-playing games, and just the, the, the amount of depth and, and heart that comes into it. It's fucking awesome. That was really cool. Sorry, it's just, <laughs> <laughs> you drew well, that out of us as an interviewer. No, yes, that was, ju that was, that was just the question. Man. Well, we I'm talk just doing about... my job. Thanks, Sam. Here's a question for you because oh. I feel like we talk about this a lot <laughs> since you play. Um, sort of in that. I don't know why I'm like pointing to today. I'm so sorry. Put my fingers away. Um, <laughs> like, now I feel like I can't talk. <laughs> Do you, I feel like we talk about a lot Tell us more about your homeschooling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, 
Oh no, I feel like I'm just like spiraling into weirdness. Oh no. <laughs> um, we talk about a lot how some D and D is so much therapy a lot of the time. Yeah. You know where you're playing and you're like, oh no, mm. me thinks I'm working out some shit right now. <laughs> um, do you ever feel that way? Oh, 100 percent. play? Yeah, 100 percent. I think the reason why I'm a chaotic player is because I had such a like a regimented upbringing, mm. right? You know, I grew up in a Muslim household. I was, you know, grew up in a very small sort of, um, like, I guess you guys would call it like a cul-de-sac in a way. Yeah. yeah. And what do you, what do you call it? A cul-de-sac. <laughs> <laughs> There's no silly. Not <laughs> called uh, like an ND or something. No. But like, but the thing is, is like you know, I, I you know, I grew up in this. I grew up in a place where I, I had to be on. I had to be good, right? I was always a big lad as well when I was growing up, so easy to be a target to get in fights, mm. and so you just had to stick, stick to the, stick to, stick to your line. And so what I find whenever I play is playing that, like, playing into the chaos or the the impulse is almost that sense of like yeah this is where I can be free this is where I can do mm. anything and be anything I want and I think like that to me is what's so freeing about it and you end up funnily enough finding all these little intricacies and characters that were living in the back of your head that you didn't realize existed until you've put them down on paper and you're, you're doing it so yeah I think it is I think there is a slight element of therapy to it which is great yeah, for sure. Like, so freeing. So do you feel like you make characters that are a little bit different than yourself to explore those sides? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Because I think it's the it's one of the only places you can do it, especially as actors. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. most of the time as actors, you get given a script, you do the characters, what's on the page, and you've got to deliver what's on the page, right? But then in D&D, &D, you can do whatever the fuck you like. Yeah. You know, and I think like that's where the freedom and play comes in. Even with improv, to a degree, there is some feeling of, it. you know, there is a freedom in it, obviously, because you're yes anding, but at the same time, there is a sense of like, here are the boundaries to a degree, whereas I generally feel with D&D &D or any sort of tabletop game, there is a feeling or a sense of, no, I could do anything. And I think that's what's really beautiful about it and really cool about it, mm. which again is completely in contrast to, as I say, like how I grew up, which was very like, do this, do that, don't do this, don't do that. Wow. Yeah. Huh. Next question. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Shit. I love it. We love it. love it. We love it. Okay, we got one for Sam. Sure. With the successful, with the successful group bonding, does FCG feel like they are getting better at therapy? How does he feel about having his memory taken by Nani Mo Nana Mori? Well, this this therapy session, two part episode I think was the best therapy that FCG has ever been a part of by far the only problem with it is he's not sure how much was him and how much was Nana Mori because oh. he and Nana Mori planned this but then so that he could participate Nana Mori wiped his memory of the plan of the planning of it so FCG doesn't remember how much came from him or how much came from Nana Mori I think he hopes that at least half came from him. Yeah. Um, but I think, yeah, it it, it inspired me to uh, to do maybe to try more bonding stuff and more connecting with my friends. And maybe it doesn't have to be like a sit down therapy session. Maybe just talking and being open is enough. It was it was really nice though. I'm glad it. I was actually really excited also as just a player that like. It was, <laughs> it was sort of my idea to do the the the, the therapy games or whatever. It and, was your idea. Yeah, you and, threw it out in game. Yeah. But yeah. like, but then afterwards, when we ended that session that night, I I was like, oh God, Matt, have I painted you in a corner? I ma I made you do a bunch of bonding exercises, and he was like, no, no, it's gonna be great. But uh, but I'm just pleased that it worked. It was just a good couple episodes, so it was, it was really cool. really fun. And the, the 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 mini games that he made, oh. they were so much fun. Oh my god, it was who, so fun. Who did the map one? You did the map one. Uh huh. Did one of you? I was no, blindfolded once, and then I, 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 I gave was, directions was it, twice. How was it to be yeah, blindfolded? Yeah, to be on the blindfolded side. So wiggy. For so a long time. Know what time. It was. Yeah. So he did this thing where three of us got blindfolded. Mm. And then the other players at the table were able to 
had to give directions to Verbal. like, so you could lead your mini like a map. across a map, but it was all winding and everything. And if you went too far and you fell off, you would die, basically. Oh my you God. lost the challenge. So, but you're like, go forward, go for, stop, 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 go, go a little bit to your, a little bit to your left, so to the left. Oh, and we had wrong. to like talk them forward, around, you know, little, little, little. It was, it felt like a home game. It really, it did. felt like a home game again. I was like, whoa, this but is it, cool. But it must have been, also like being blindfolded on camera for it was ten very, hours. very, very time. Yeah, <laughs> being was blindfolded crazy. and like having. I was the second one to go, so Travis went first, and I could hear you guys giving direction to him, but I had no concept at all of what he was moving, of what the map that he was trying to, right. like, I didn't know how big the map was, I didn't know, like, anything, so when I was given my, like, little mini, I was, like, holding on to it with, like, a You don't know how, because I thought yeah. I was going to, like, fall off the edge, and, yeah, it's just, it was Her all about trust. knuckles were, like, white. Yeah, you're, you're so, like, <laughs> have really yeah. white knuckled. And then like poor Talison, because Talison went last. And I feel like we were playing that little mini game for at least oh, an hour. It was a while. <laughs> so Talison- was blindfolded for a long time. Because he, Matt wanted everybody to be blindfolded who was gonna do it so that you couldn't get context for what it was. So Talison's just sitting just over sat there, there. <laughs> for like 40 minutes. 45 minutes. Like, yeah, not, just not talking, blind. just blind. <laughs> it was strangely In the dark. relaxing though, because like, I never get to take naps, you know, during the day. Yeah. And like I put the blindfold on, it was so dark. And I was just like, <laughs> it was like, I, I, yeah. like, I had a headache going into it. The headache was gone when I took the mask wow. off. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, that's cool. Okay. We did it. <laughs> Got another question here for Marisha. Did Lordner consider reaching for pate? Pate? Pay. Yeah. Is it pate, pate or pate? Pate. Pate okay. is my, my dead flying rat. rat. Wow, okay. With a um, bird skull. <laughs> He's so cute. Well, rib wings. did Lordna yes. consider reaching for pate for comfort when she was in Delilah's grasp? How does she feel about her familiar now that she can actually talk to her? Oh. But he can actually talk to her, sorry. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, pate came a little bit later in Ladna's journey. So she had Delilah first for like a considerable amount of time. Right. So I think, and then that being that close to Whitestone, Delilah's influence, I think she just, I mean, as we talked about after the game, she just kind of like reverted and went back and like pâtés, great and all, but it's not like, He's a complex conversationalist. Um, he's what? basically what? What? Uh, no, yeah. He doesn't. <laughs> he can't. You know. I always think of Pate as basically um, Ladna's Wilson, all yeah. a castaway. Right. Oh wow. Um, yeah. She where it's like keep it her sane. Just there to keep her sane. Not really someone who she can get like like pate is basically just an extension of like laudan's oh, no. like subconscious and her brain so it's like talking to herself essentially whereas delilah is a whole other a whole other whole other thing whole yeah. other entity so okay. you know what pate is gonna say yes because it's basically <laughs> yeah. What? yeah what do you think about this yeah 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 me too, me too. yeah exactly <laughs> laura yes what was it like for Imogen to trust her friends as they guided her during Nana's test? Oh, speaking of, yeah. it was great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, <laughs> Laura. Yes. What was it like for, no. <laughs> I'll just not <laughs> How does Imogen feel impersonating her mother or leaning into being mm -hmm. Liliana Telnut's daughter at the key? Right. Um, uh, very nervous about it. It's funny because she doesn't know her mother at all. She doesn't ha really have any memories other than a vague, every once in a while, like, like a vision of her as a child, you know, like looking up at her. Um, but. <laughs> the, the music, music came in, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, I I feel so conflicted about 
Imogen feels very conflicted about who Liliana actually is. Because mm. I know I've said this before and I keep wishy-washy and going back and forth. For so long, this voice that she was hearing, Liliana disappeared when she was a, a little teeny weeny kid. And she would have nightmares and Liliana's voice was always in her nightmare, like waking her up to the fact that it was a nightmare and telling her to get out. And so she always took it as a comfort, as like this, this voice, this is my mother, she's protecting me. Um, and then like, as we've discovered more and more about her, now it's like, wait, is what's wrong here? And was I reading it wrong this whole time and she's actually a bad guy? Is she a bad guy, but she's conflicted and she's like double agenting it and still wants to help me? Um, and then we get to this big fight and Liliana doesn't help us at all. Like in the moment of tr like truth, she abandons us, right? So I've kind of come to terms with the fact like, oh, she's, she's actually bad. I read it wrong this whole time. She's a terrible human being. Um, and then this is like skipping that question fully, but, and then I have the fucking thing with Pradathos where like the embrace happens and then I hear her in my head before sh I like gave in fully to Pradathos. She was like, no, don't do, like, it, don't do it, don't do it. Imogen, no! Yeah, and so it's like- It's weird she's trying to protect you, but she's also a bad guy. It's like maybe she, maybe it's that thing where like once you get with Pradathos, <laughs> You can't fight that. <laughs> Not kinky. Yeah. <laughs> no. oh. you, can't, you don't go back. You can't. No, yeah, but seriously, you can't fight that that draw, right? And maybe Liliana has been so close to it for so long that she can't do anything but give in to the the influence when she's around it. But she has the subconscious, that second part of her brain that's always like, I want to keep my daughter away from it if I can. Like, don't come um, near Pradathos because I don't want you to suffer the same fate. But you fate. just gave into it. But I just gave into it. <sighs> so what's that going to mean for Liliana? I don't know. You're going to turn into your mom. Maybe I will. Right. Maybe, you know, Trent will just have a couple of lavender haired. You'll have a baby with Laudna and you'll have to be in her head her whole life saying, don't do what I did. Yeah. Run. I mean, it's that, <sighs> not that I'm a parent. But it's time that you know it. <laughs> oh, you're just skipping. You're it's like, time. Yeah. Yeah. it's time. <laughs> it's time. Shut up, everyone. It's For time. another poll from the spreadsheet of inquiry. Spreadsheet of Danny. inquiry. <laughs> what is the next question on the spreadsheet? I had more important things to do, which were uh, give my boss water. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but according to the spreadsheet of inquiry, mm. oh. Evelyn G wants to know. <laughs> yes? <laughs> if given the opportunity, do you think your character would rather meet their past or future selves? And why? Wait, 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 say it again. Given the opportunity, would your character rather meet their past or future selves and why? Oh. I think oh. I'd like to meet my past self. Well, yeah because I don't know who I was and what I was built for and... Well, now you know what you were built for. Yeah, I guess so. But I still have the question of like, am I more than that? Mm. I feel like... Are you and Barbie the same movie? <gasps> I'm Barbie. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> God. Did Margot Robbie rip off her character from me? <laughs> <laughs> Can, oh my gosh. I'm blonde. Wait, can somebody make <laughs> can somebody make an FCG like supercut to the Billie Eilish song? <laughs> hey, Bob. Um, Not that one. Oh, I know. Um, <laughs> oh, the serious one. Uh, yeah, but no, I want to know. I was created by someone to do a purpose for yes, to, for a purpose uh, to entertain girls. Uh, <laughs> And, uh, and I, do, I need to know if I can be more than that or if that's just what I am and I should just embrace it. I was created to be a killing machine 2,000 years ago. I, that took oh. me a second that you were talking about Barbie and I was like, wait, FCG was created for... No. <laughs> for oh. girls. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's, I wait, what all can you do? <laughs> that's what I did girls. not know. <laughs> all my attachments. <laughs> uh, <laughs> math is hard. God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I what feel a, like I feel like if Fern could go either way. I feel like the future really scares her. 
but I feel like, you know, oh, we're matching. Um, <laughs> I feel like the future scares her, but I feel like she only really knows her past, which sounds so, it's mm -hmm. not like FCG where it's like she knows her past so well, but I don't know. Wait, so you would, you would Probably the future. I don't the know. Future. I think she'd be scared for either one. Of course. I'd say past for Ladna, because once again, I don't think, Ladna's already dead. What's her future? Maybe life. Uh, right? Maybe there's Maybe. a way to enliven you. But to like go back and meet Matilda, who hadn't been like burdened with <coughs> what yes. you're seeing now. Yes. That'd be pretty. Yeah. It was so long ago, she's kind of forgotten some elements of that. So mm -hmm. probably past. What about you? I would go future. Yeah. yeah. Future, why? Um, Cause Imogen always wants to know and she wants to know, uh, she would want to know if she goes bad or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next question, please, Danny. Well, friendly.local.hag on Instagram. <laughs> asks, Amazing name. Deuces. Yeah, that's a great, yeah. <laughs> what is the most fascinating aspect of Exandria's world building to you? E.g. myths, legends, geography, fauna, flora, culture, etc. Holy shit. <sighs> that is too hard to put into one thing. Ugh. All of the above. Exandria is the world that we play in. That you play in, right. Yes, mm -hmm. that Matt has created and intricately weaved. I guess it's not, the, it's not any one thing for me, and I'm sure it's not any one thing for anybody, but I guess it's just the um, complexity of how it all goes together. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and if you you dig like the flora and fauna is related to the history, which is related to the gods, which is related to wars, which is related to past campaigns, which is related to calamity, which is like it's all there's a reason why the flower is called this this name, and it has to do with a god that we haven't even heard of yet, you know, yeah. but Matt knows what it is. Mm and we'll find out three years from now. It's like, it's amazing. Yeah. It's incredible. Don't He's know how so he does good. it. I don't either. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. So I'm always so impressed with how he, like his concept of time too. And like, if we dilly dally too long, then like things just, the things world are just happening. keeps moving and everyone. And um, did you guys watch his PAX keynote speech? Yeah. It was so good and like, at the end, he had this like whole bit at the end that was basically like, kind of like, ichneying main character syndrome. It was kind of like it was like, hey, just remember, like, everyone around you has their own fleshed out lives mm -hmm. and experiences <laughs> and their own problems going on, and and he's like, and I and he was relating that to his campaigns and like the world building in his campaign where it's like yeah we as like our adventuring party may just stumble across like a random farmer and but this you know and he mentioned he was like I always whenever I build like NPCs beyond their function to what the the story and the players are going to be I also just jot down like another little thing like another fun little factoid about their lives that they might not ever come up but like oh this person's really into beating and like beating. i don't know beating with the beating off, you know? <laughs> this person beating. this person masturbates six times a day i don't know why <laughs> they're really into competitive pumpkin growing yeah yeah, yeah. They've won a pumpkin growing contest. Both like, solid I don't choices. know. This is why Matt really, is good at what he does. Yes. And, uh, we they're don't really do that. into forming sausages. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's the most Matt Mercer thing to say yeah. so, to say a word that yeah. then everybody else. Yes. Can't yes. <laughs> I will say, and this is, is kind of kind of expanding on what you were saying, where I feel like whenever we visit places, we do feel the history of it. Like I, I, I think about, I don't know why this place, I think about the barbed fields a lot. Yeah, it's super yeah, cool. Me too. Just because like that visual to me of like 
knowing That's your Roman Empire. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's my Roman. Yes. How often do you think about the barbs? I think about the barb fields at least like three times a week. Yeah. Um, but it just it was like, like visually these 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 like spires or whatever it was coming from this this battle that happened so long ago, and just like we always feel the history of like oh this place has been here for a very long time. It doesn't feel like something he just made up because everything everything has a reason. Yeah. By the way, that would be a sick EXU calamity sort of a barbed field. barbed fields. Like, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I want to know why that. I still am always like why did that happen? What are those? Mm. I yeah. also still think when we were in London in our panel in London and he just like randomly drops like, "Oh yeah, and all the underwater Water nations." <laughs> yes. And we were like what? What? Like, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't know this was a thing yeah. you could do. What are you talking mermaid about? Campaign. Mermaid, mermaid campaign. Mermaid campaign. Yeah. Yes. Mermaid, mermaid at least, like, three shot. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah one yeah. shot. It's got to be at least a few. Yeah, ones. sure. A few yeah. longer. Yeah. And I want to be in it. Do you want to play in that one? Do you want to be, want a, to be a mermaid? mermaid? Yeah, man. You would be a great that. mermaid. Oh, oh, I'd love that. <laughs> 100%. Do you know who I am? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a fucking, well, I'm a I'm fucking I'm mermaid. Like I am King Triton. <laughs> I'm telling you. I watched Ariel. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Oh, God. No, it's that me? fine. No, it's fine. Jeff, Jeff. Thank you, Evelyn G. and Friendly Local Hag. Now, remember, if you have a question you want to submit to us, you can enter it at critroll.com slash tower. Mm -hmm. And with that, we're going to be taking a quick break. But if you are a podcast listener or a person who skips the C block, we have a special treat for you because when we come back from our break, we'll be extending our conversation and asking <laughs> any leftover <laughs> oh, no! Thank you questions. There's a few less Because there's no more now. bits on <laughs> Four Sided Dive. Not a single one, not a single one. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Every story begins at the end of another. Each story carries with it the echoes of those that came before. My Baba, my father, your story was snatched away too soon. My name is Zhao, a shaman of Kenzera. Here, I seek my father's return. my plea. Kalunga, God of Death, come to me! Show me you are ready. Hello Critters! My name is Abu Bakr Salim. I am the founder of Surgent Studios and the creative director of Tales of Kinzera Zao. Uh, firstly, I just want to say thank you. <laughs> the love you guys have given has been, I mean, in incredibly inspiring and, and, and moving. And so as a way of trying to give some of that love back, I am giving away five codes to our game uh, to five lucky winners. Now, to find out how to uh, get those codes, you'll have to jump over to our Discord, which is discord.gg slash Um, And there should be instructions there how to enter. And uh, screw it. I'm also going to be giving away a Nintendo Switch to a lucky winner too. So yes, you can find out all that information in our Discord. Again, I really, really want to stress how thankful and just again moved I am by your support and I can't wait to see you guys and have you guys playing the game and hearing your thoughts big love
Delve into a new tabletop role-playing game of investigative horror with the Candela Obscura Core Rulebook using the Illuminated World System by Darrington Press. Roam the turn-of-the-century-inspired setting of the Fairlands, including the bustling city of New Fair and the ancient ruins of Old Fair below. Assemble a circle of investigators within the paranormal secret society of Candela Obscura. You'll analyze strange and horrifying events, fight back against dangerous phenomena, and contain the bleed that spreads from corruptive magic. Choose from 10 custom character sheets to empower your investigations and explorations. Use tactical intuition and brawn with the soldier specialty. Use your charm with finesse and flair as the magician specialty. Or study and practice mystical arts as an occultist. Explore districts of Newfair, competing organizations, four full assignments, and dozens of example assignments to inspire you. If you choose to brave the role of game master, this guide contains everything needed to pave the way for your Candela Obscura investigators. Offered in both a standard edition as well as an ornate limited edition for collectors, the Candela Obscura Core Rulebook contains 204 art-filled pages, including maps, items, immersive notes, mysteries, and plenty more to power your very own story. Keep this tome close, for the knowledge obtained may be the key to protecting you, your allies, and the Fairlands. Hey Critters, Laura Bailey here to guide you through what's new in the Critical Role Shop. Donuts in this? Only one way to find out. It's too powerful! This is pretty badass. It's the little things in life. Style should never be a dumpster, darling. Look at this. Isn't it fashion? So much fashion happening here. Oh, so comfy cozy. This is this is a lot of stuff, you guys. We have like so many cool things right now. And hey, if you want, you could head over to the Critical Role shop right now. A dark bargain is struck from a place of anguish, and a wandering innocence aims to even the score losing itself in the process. Curfew now falls on the streets of Groundswell as the periphery aim to snuff out a local uprising. And though it's true that many assignments have violent beginnings, violent ends rarely bring a satisfying resolution. A wise investigator knows when it's best to sheath the blade and bear the heart. The Circle of Tide and Bone Assignment number 3713, Guardian of Groundswell. It's very simple. It's a weird surrealist fourth wall breaking reality bending science fantasy space western about a small doomed planet floating in a cosmic ocean of spooky darkness. Upon whose alien landscape an ensemble cast of characters including a crotchety outlaw, a freakishly virtuous cultist, and a diabolical businessman make awful decisions and fight like hell to survive when the moon falls out of the sky and a large number of terrible things happen in rapid succession. It's exciting, it's funny, it's scary. It's got neat sound, weird music, amazing visuals, and every episode comes with bonus content you can read and examine. Midst is performed solely by yours truly as the three of us narrate all the action, play all of the characters, and bend a lot of the rules about how telling stories is normally supposed to work. Midst is pretty fun, very strange, and it feels like VR for your brain. We believe you'll enjoy it, or maybe you won't, but there's really only one way to find out. You're going to have to listen to Midst.
forces of evil threaten Exandria, these heroes are there to answer the call. I'm Super Scanlan. With my Critical Role Twitch subscription, I can watch all my favorite CR shows before they come out on YouTube. Take that, evildoers! Here comes Jester with her Twitch subscription to Critical Role! She can access gnarly emotes and post links in the chat, too. Radical! <sighs> oh no! Here come some trolls to jam up our live chat! Don't worry, Laudna will stop them with the help of Critical Role's professional moderators. She's spooky, but I like her. Here comes Laudna's friend Chitney. He has an Amazon Prime membership which gives him one free Twitch subscription of his choice. Of course he subscribes to Critical Role. It's the power of teamwork. Die, Ooh, die, I'm die! Spooky. I cast Agonizing Bolt! Scanlan's hand! Stop him, Chetney! And look, there's Caleb with the power of introspection and existential dread. Now that we've defeated all the bad guys, let's gift subscriptions to other users. Ooh, you can do that Ashley. by name or Talison. randomly. Talison, Ashley, please, I've told you so many times, just don't play with those, okay? They're super fragile, custom made, custom painted. You know what, we have to film in about 30 minutes, so why don't you two just come with me? Come on. Oh, it's Major Buzzkill here to take away all our fun. Oh. Is it Thursday yet, bitch? You certainly die. Oh, uh, good one. Ludus corpse, take his vest. Yeah. Could you please stop that? Wrong smash. Subscribe to Critical Role on Twitch and collect all 21 action figures. Alternate forms and familiars not included. Welcome back to Foresighted Dive. We have an wow. extra special so treat for you tonight That's because we are, yes, you guessed it, talking more. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep Funny. talking. Come on, everyone. Yeah, Let's talk. talk. Talking. Hi, talk Danny. at each other. Hi. With each other. Hi. Hey. I joined y'all. I'm the lore keeper for those who uh, don't watch our show. I don't I know why you're you. watching this now. <laughs> Butterfly. Crowd. Thank you. I know, I love that. Is that new? It's kind of new. It's another Claire's purchase. Did you? Is you it really Claire's? I love Claire's? I, okay. I don't yeah, I know Claire's. what Claire's policies I are. I love Claire's. I'm not advocating for anything Claire's Maybe does. sponsor us. <laughs> I love Claire's. <laughs> I want to say that with, again, I know nothing about Claire's other than they make accessories that I love. <laughs> they do make good accessories. Wow. Mm -hmm. Earlier. Claire's is like Sanrio to me. Yeah. Yes. Like going into them, it's I'm like. Nostalgic. Oh. Yes. Yeah. I feel like middle school, yes. elementary school mm -hmm. vibes. Those are real butterflies, too. They are, yeah. yeah. They were killed. Yes. <laughs> Again, I do not endorse Third anything one. Claire's does. <laughs> Unless it's really good, in which case, you go, Claire's. <laughs> I've got a question. Yes. What would, what like accessory would your characters have? secretly or not even secretly that you would say you know kind like of a fashion accessory fashion anything a finger that's i mean not necessarily a fashion we have actually had a character like, who did have a finger as like part of their kit well there you go yeah. so let me know like what's Steve in your tell, pockets guys Liam's, if i was Liam's to dive into fern's pocket for example oh what would god, i pick too many pockets oh my god there's so many pockets so many marsupial pouches <laughs> yes multiple <laughs> i think one of the things that i had written down as something that she has in her inventory of things that she took, which I think I might have given it to somebody at this point, but I still feel like she probably has multiple of these, are um, people's braids. <laughs> what? Yeah, like like she's just like, I just love it. I just have to cut it off this person. And like, I, I have like multiple long haired braids in my bag because I think it's funny that she's like, I love this, I want it. It's mine. <laughs> Did this come up in EXU? I think. I was that. I kind of, yeah, it was I feel far like back. I remember this. Yeah, it might like, be. Like it's like this is unlocking like a recessed corridor in my brain. It might have come I've up had in it EXU. For a while. I don't remember. I feel yeah. like that's something Fern wouldn't do at this point. Probably not anymore. Yeah. I don't feel like she'd cut off somebody's braid because I well, think in this alive. plane she's like, oh, that's yeah. weird. Alive. They were alive. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And just like sitting watching a show, and mm. she was just like, Ugh. cut someone's braid. Wow. <laughs> I really regret asking. And teeth. Teeth. <laughs> teeth. Teeth and hair. How? She's got lots teeth? of teeth and How? hair. You've, definitely, you've collected teeth before. I, I, I mean, I have a little bit of a teeth thing, too. You do. That's why you like those teeny weeny dice. Yeah, I love them. Wow. Wait, 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 you wait. You as Ashley thing. have a. What does that mean? 
I don't really know what that means, but I, f I like, like teeth. You like loose teeth. Yeah. Oh. You can't, like my, <laughs> as you're saying this, you're like. Don't tell people that I know, get people I know. sending you teeth. No, so oh, my, yeah. my. If we go to a con. Send, don't send me teeth. I don't want con, your teeth. Just bring your baby teeth. Don't bring teeth. <laughs> Holy shit. I think, because I think they're so, they're just so weird. They're like our bones on the outside. <laughs> that is young. And then we just By like, definition, exactly. What yeah, and then we didn't yeah. see them, and like, yeah. they do so many different things. They make you. They show your happiness. They show when you're like, oh, you know. They chew. My niece spent the night at my place uh, a couple nights ago, and she lost a tooth. <gasps> Did you, you lose your mind? <laughs> I was like, oh, this is happening at my house. You had a little niece yeah. situation. Yeah. Wait, Did Did you lose your tooth at your house? house? We didn't. She doesn't. If you're if you're a child if you're a child watching, turn off the show right now. She said she's like we don't do the tooth fairy at my house. <gasps> oh. Well, well, they used to because my sister used to go ham and put like little like glitter footprints. Yeah. And oh, but sweet. that's really cool. That Lilu's really cool. too in on it. She's too like that's not a thing anymore. She's nine. If you stop okay, believing, then nine. the tooth fairy stops showing Correct. up. Yeah. So Correct. So you never stop believing. Correct. I I'm with you. Yes. I still believe. I still believe. She said she's like, well, I don't want to get rid of my tooth, so I'd rather keep the tooth than take the money. And I was like, well, what if I keep the tooth? <laughs> and I pay for it. And I, I was like, I don't want to make, like, I want to make like a little Are necklace out of it. <laughs> Maybe I'm the tooth fairy. Maybe that's Fern's so end game. <gasps> she becomes she the tooth, tooth fairy. I actually really love this. What if it's that you take a tooth? It's a take Puppy. a tooth, leave a tooth. Take a tooth, leave a tooth? Yeah, I kind of love that. <laughs> so wait. Yeah, yeah. In Alexandria, the tooth fairy pulls a tooth and puts somebody else in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You just wake All up different with sizes. Like, that actually, yeah. is, that actually <laughs> is an anthology book that I keep pitching. Is like little like horror stories or just like folk tales from different areas of Alexandria, and I really yes. love that as like a book, uh, as a version of the Tooth Fairy that's in like Isilra or something. Yeah. That the Tooth Fairy changes your teeth or oh. something. Yes. <laughs> um, I kind of like this. Because I mean, I don't workshop is okay. Fern right. could be the Tooth Fairy because like the Tooth Fairy is obviously a Feywild. Oh, it's, oh yes. yeah. Right? And you're like Why walking in and out. Why is that a thing? I like this. Yeah. Well, she I, this. I, I, she pays I like you for your teeth. Yeah. So wait, did you end up keeping your niece's tooth? Yes, I have it. What, what did you <laughs> give in her? In my pocket right did you now. Give, yeah, what did you give her? Um, Coloring book? candy. Oh, nice. Can you have more teeth? So I can give more teeth. <laughs> Do you have plans for the tooth? I kind of want to like, um, this is really weird. But I kind of want to like, no, I know. I kind of want to dip it in like, like some, I want to make like a little necklace out of it. Sure. Like encase it in resin or something. Yeah, yeah. You could do like what I have with that, or like dip the little part of it in gold. Yeah, make a little. How big? How big? Boss taking it out too. Oh, she took it out. Yeah. Damn. Because it was wiggling. She's like, twist and pull. Yeah. And I was like, do you want me to do it? Oh god. And she's like, no, 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 I can do it. And I was like, are you sure? She's such a boss. She's such a boss. I see. Mine was always that I would just like play with it for so long that I would just pop out. I would just fuck. Slow pop. Yeah. After days. Yeah. How? Crazy. Experience the teeth coming out. Falling out. Yes. Isn't it crazy that we're born with a second set of teeth? Just yes. And you're sure. That one set just goes away, and then we get a new one. And those your brain just adult-sized teeth are just in the fucking in the skull. Ew, that's gross. It's weird. Yeah, have you ever seen the, like the when ones? when no. kids get their <laughs> their heads X-rayed before they Ooh, push it out? No. Like it has a whole other round of teeth. yes, it's weird. Did you know that? You have seen oh, this? I did not. Yeah, well, they're just in there when you're born. <laughs> yeah, your extra teeth are already saved on your. <laughs> <laughs> so th okay. my if it's small enough, you could send it to literally any of our. Like dice the makers? dice people and put it in a D20. Oh, that would be cool. It's really tiny. It was a. Uh, it's great. So it'd fit like a little fang. <gasps> so it'd yeah. fit in a D20. Yeah. Make it and put it in a D20. I don't mold. hate it. I don't I hate it. Do the the guys yeah. have the two? Say the two again? prongs, or is it just a single? No, it's just a single. Okay. Yeah. So. Got your yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, weird hair, yeah, hair thing and a teeth. I didn't see. Okay. Okay. Not necessarily yeah, fashion yeah. or accessories, oh, but, but oh, yeah, we're so... I think, I think oh, you know, interesting yeah. yeah. Something like that. So yeah, who's next? Let's... Oh, that was just one question. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what what yeah. accessory does FCG have? have? Uh, a no. A what? Wow. Oh wow. Oh, a teledildonic device. Yes. Yeah. He's got an attachable penis. Great. Yeah. 
Uh, FCG was made for girls. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Or Anybody boys, can enjoy a detachable penis. Yeah. That's true. That's true. I think that's early in the campaign, penis. I had some idea that, like, he would savor different oils. Like, he liked different oh, motor oils. That's and oh, what about that's essential right. oils? <laughs> yeah, he was going to sample a bunch of oils, but then FCG I, just, I dropped all that. <laughs> so now he just eats coins. Um... I don't know what he has now. Probably a bunch of baking stuff. Last time I invented okay. that he has a start a sourdough starter with him at all times. That's true. Yeah. So, Which is pretty great. Yeah. I mean, I believe. I feel like you've talked about the sourdough mm -hmm. starter yeah. before too. It's in my life a lot because Quinn. Yeah. Maybe yeah. It's just you, Sam, Quinn is constantly starter. working on her Levan and mm. her keeping her starter going. She shares her starter with other people. She posts about it on her stories. Is a she a so, lot. It's very exciting. Sell Loves yeah, anymore because I want to buy did a pop right up, up from her. She did a pop up last year. I miss her cookies. Oh, her cookies and this her bread. I just Ashley had just had bag. Ashley just had one of her cookies two nights ago. Girl, I did. What? Why? How? Ashley came over to my house for dinner. Whatever. I was no really deal. hoping that I was <laughs> going to have deal. cookies Whatever. waiting for you. <laughs> and I came to take care of her gatoni. What? No Sorry, Q, Q made pho, which is my <gasps> favorite. Q made sushi. I know. I know. I know. You love pho. Laura and I both like pho. I prefer it to Robert. It's okay, I'm fine, everything's fine. No big deal, I'm just... I had to, I was hungry. I know my place. No big deal. I'm just a poor lonely girl, I needed... I had something hey, to I feed took care. <laughs> I took care of her gatoni and there were no cookies, so... I'm sorry, you it's could okay. have eaten anything in the fridge though, and I hope you did. <laughs> I don't remember. I did order a pine and crane that was very good. Oh, Ooh, yeah. By the way, Abu, this good. is possibly the best question that's ever been asked on Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. We've been, wow. talking for a, we've been talking for a solid 15 minutes. <laughs> And it was one and yeah. we're only half <laughs> <laughs> This whole C block is going to be one <laughs> I kind of, kind of love it. Yeah. I kind of love yeah. it. Yeah. what it is. Go ahead, oh, hit us. Oh, man. I don't know. I mean, Imogen has this, I know, I was going to say the scarf. scarf. I was going to say What's the scarf. This, is there a story behind the scarf, or is it just a pretty scarf? I just like? thought, you know. <gasps> green ribbon. Oh, green, green ribbon. ribbon. Green ribbon. Yeah. Children need Ooh. more scary stories. Yes. Um, was that from Are You Afraid of the Dark? Or, no. Scary, scary stories. stories. Scary no, it was just I don't think so. Because she was a horse girl. Oh. But she doesn't have the scarf on in the newest. But she still owns it, right? Yeah. Like when we get to the moon, you can whip it out. And... Yeah, yeah. You've, you've mentioned I it. I always since talk like, yeah, the, yeah, I do since, things with yeah, the it's scarf. Like in her, I imagine it's just in her pocket. And also the what magical scarf that we got. Why are you looking at me? Wait, what do you. What do you do? What do you, you do think with a happens scarf? with a scarf? Oh, it's a silk scarf or something. I, I mean, I can think of things you can do with a scarf. <laughs> a blindfold I mean, or one of those like. Oh. I mean, oh. <laughs> oh. I mean you can tie. You can, you, you, can, you, can, you can wrap around the mouth. Like, There's all yeah. kinds of yes. things. Yes, that's true. Scarf play. For less. Scarf Scarves? play. Okay. Scarves are Scarf multi. Yeah. That's not where I was going with it, but okay. <laughs> and also, Nana Mori gave her a scarf, not too. Or gave us a scarf and she took it. Uh, oh, do you have the scarf? Because it is... was purple. That's true. I love it. Why? <laughs> is it different in any way? It's just a... It's a magic scarf. Oh, that's right. But I was picturing it as a big, like, square silk scarf when mm. he was describing it. And then, like, the picture when I typed it in was, like, a long, a long just scarf. a scarf. But uh, it's, a square, it's a square Wait, scarf. And that, that new thing for Nana Mori, it does magic mouth, and, and that's it, it? And it does magic mouth, it does suggestion. Mm, that's a good one. And it casts, you can cast fear. But the problem with it is that, like, the DC is, is like, 15. That's oh, low. That's pretty time, low. That's low. I know. But, like, most of your spells are not, Suck. Are, are healing or, like, <laughs> Uh, attack based, right? Blast. So like, they have to do like either a deck. Well, it's, it's just an attack great. roll. Like guiding bolt is an attack roll. You can't do much. No, I know. I was a cleric. <laughs> you were not a cleric. But um. <laughs> no, I know I was a cleric. But like all of Imogen's spells are saves. Like she has very, very, very <laughs> few yeah, spells right. that are like attack. You're right. You're right. Cleric is my favorite fucking class. <laughs> they are such a good class. It's like, so good. Game, you can like, do anything with it. It's so much yeah. fun. It's yeah. yeah. End game druids. like level twenty cleric Jeez. with the free d divine intervention. I mean, yeah. clerics are so garbage. much fun. <laughs> he would think that. <laughs> what about you? Ladna. It's tough because I'm another one with a bunch yeah. of accessories mm -hmm. that I'm very vocal about. I also collect about the bones. Scissors. The scissors. Yeah. Ooh, good yeah, call. You, always, you don't really use them, but they're on your... They're on me. Was that going to be like your primary weapon at the beginning? 
No, I just, I liked the idea of her being a little crafty hag. Just a little. <laughs> ready to craft something. Ready to craft at any dolls. time. And then also there's just, honestly, it was just because I was like, what's spooky? Ooh, scissors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh, rusty scissors, scissors. Rusty Hammers. scissors are just kind of like. They're creepy. A little creepy. Yeah. By yeah. nature, they squeak. like I think, and the, yeah, and I think like <laughs> especially like old school, like heavy duty metallic shears. Yeah. I feel yeah, like I feel like you'd accidentally chop your finger off with if you miss. Yes, yeah. So it's just kind of it. honestly meant to add to the scissors are just mystique. a great vibe for uh, sapphic characters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Unintended, yes. <laughs> you know what I think about, though, all the time? You know what my Roman Empire is? <laughs> is it's not even my uh, accessory, but that coin that you had mm. at the very beginning of the campaign. Your coin. That we dropped that we down in the Oh, the coin of delving. The coin of delving that Orem dropped? <gasps> yes. Yeah. I. One of my like weird goals is it's at some it. point to go get that. It could be a one shot it's, after this campaign is done. We re go still find in that coin. It's just unchecked. Oh. 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 Back. Huh. Wait, who did that originally belong to? Me. Yeah, it did? Okay. I think it was, I, his lucky it was coin. dancer. I got oh, it at the beginning of the right. campaign. It was like one of my starting items yeah. or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, it was, was it supposed to be dancers or something? It was like so. from. He yeah, had this, and it like it could cast yeah. light or something, right? It could cast light. And then he had it for like yeah. three games, and then it wasn't even him. It I was loaned like, it to Orem, and Orem dropped, dropped it. it. Orem used it. That's yeah. the he thing is, it was a he coin. dropped it on purpose. Yes. Yeah, that's the thing is, it's a coin of delving, which means that whenever you drop it, it gives you a ping, and you know how far it dropped. Yeah. It's a coin you're going to eventually lose. But yeah. we thought maybe we yeah. would go down there. <laughs> I think that's yeah. what it was, is we were like, oh, let's, because yeah, Danny is right. We technically use the coin exactly how it was meant For to be purpose. used. But you I think we were like- get back the rock you throw down the well. <laughs> well, what if the well is only but like- you love it? hundred yeah, feet. It's your special rock. Yeah. I think it was that Don't we didn't- Don't throw the special rock. We didn't anticipate it being like, oh, this just fell into the. This was like a thousand. This is a yeah. thousand. <laughs> yeah. It's gone now. It was like, like well, never mind. Oops. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Sorry about that. Yeah. But it also, you were so sad about it, I and I want to get so it back. Sad about it. Orem felt terrible. Yeah. As he should. Um, maybe <laughs> Gave end, him permission. Maybe end game, I'll, I'll go evil and kill him, and that'll be the. That, that's the reason. Yeah, that's it. I like that. You fucking idiot! You <laughs> lost my coin! <laughs> Wait, uh, in your D and D game, what class do you play? Oof. So at the moment, <clears throat> I am playing a fighter. Really? Ooh. What specialization? Yes. So this is the thing. Um, <laughs> so the D and D that we're playing at the moment isn't actually the classic D and D. It's a Mass Effect uh, <gasps> variant of D and D. That's so cool. Whoa. So I'm playing a soldier, and in this D and D, you get ship fights, and you also get like um, uh, you can modify your armor, you can build your armor, you can add all these cool mods to your gun as well, and like there's Whoa. different kind of like half cover, full cover, all these crazy other rules as well. You get shields and stuff, and it's like really dope. Do you have any bionic upgrades? So I don't. I'm pure soldier. So like I'm just complete. Okay. Decked out full custom armor, oh. Turian sort of. You know, oh, you're Turian. Like, yeah, man. Amazing. Oh. Like, yeah. Whereas, like, all my friends have all the bionic powers and stuff, but I'm just like soldier through and through. That's sick. And on our like on our session zeros, uh, you know, my my mate, my best mate, who's funnily enough writing at my game studio, he's <laughs> just telling me what to do at D and D, and I pay him anyway. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> no, on our session zeros, he, he he gave us these impossible missions where we it was each everyone had their own, and I haven't actually asked what the other guys did, but everyone else failed their mission apart from my character <laughs> because it, and I and I don't know what it is, but I think the soldier class in, in this is so so powerful. So what you're really? saying is that so canonically is you're the best. Pretty much, you know, <laughs> yeah, I am yeah. Commander Shepard. Yeah, yeah. But Turian. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. And this is my favorite cool. shop on the it's, set. Yeah, <laughs> it's like honestly, <laughs> it was honestly, it was so, it's good, good fun. So that's what I'm currently playing at the moment. Sick. But normally whenever I do d and I play um, paladins, but I go for the Oath of Conquest. Um, Oath of Conquest. Yeah. So I'm like, 
but I'm always I'm always dark. Yeah. Dark Taladin. That's what. Whoa. Wow. Oh. That's, so, that's so cool. What accessory does your soldier have? Yeah. My soldier has a cloth called Lugarda's cloth, which um, during a campaign, uh, which is the, the same campaign in which he he left, uh, basically fighting for for the government. Uh, he witnessed mass atrocities, and one child he tried to save couldn't. And so he kept that cloth as a reminder of why he should never join the army or fight for any big group. So oh. now that's why he's a freelancer, because he, he carries jobs and he's a mercenary, but he's fucking good at it. So yeah. Sick. That's cool. rad. I love that. I want to play that game. I know. Yeah. I, I just want to watch that game. I just want to like, I just need you to like yes. send me email updates about oh, what's man. going on in that game. Is this an, oh, like man. an official Mass Effect? Like, I, don't, I don't think it's, it's official. Like a... I think it was like fan made. Fan made? That's yeah, cool. I think my, yeah, my mate, because we're all Mass Effect fans. So yeah. we were just like, yeah, let's just play this campaign. And it, again, as I say, very, it was, you know, very much homebrew sort of like trying to figure cool. out the mechanics and everything. Sam Max, like, can you <laughs> me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, it was, it's, it's, such a, it's such a fun, yeah, it's great fun. It's That's great, great fun. fun. So, yeah. Would you consider yourself more of a sci-fi guy or high fantasy? Oh man, that's tough. That is a tough one. That, that is hard. tough. I probably am more science fiction. Yeah. And the big reason why is because I think that it's closer to home. Mm. So as an audience member or someone who's watching it, it's easier to uh, get people to relate to something yeah. Than it is with high fantasy. I think high fantasy you can kind of lose yourself in, right? Yeah. You can lose yourself in the magic of it and the dragons and everything. But whereas with sci-fi, it can be so close to home and you don't even know it, it's it's really interesting and entertaining. Yeah, for sure. I think that was the one thing that I loved, even when doing Raised by Wolves, was like just how out there it was, but how close it was as well. Yeah. You know, it's mm -hmm. that whole... I mean, yeah, we've got flying snakes. I mean, that's not very close, but... <laughs> no, flying snakes no, are real. Like, but like, flying, flying snakes, snakes are fucking I real. I've seen them. I, like, <laughs> okay, I have, a horrible, I have a horrible phobia of snakes. When I was very little, my parents bought me a National Geographic book about snakes thinking it would help my phobia. Then I opened up the book and I saw that flying snakes were a real thing and I closed the book. Are you serious? <laughs> flying snakes? No, yes, I'm telling you, look it up. But none of you have a phobia of snakes because they're really scary. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Please don't send me anything with snakes, I will cry. Wow. <laughs> Or like, looking like, it up right uh, now. Flying snakes. That's the thing. So yeah, it's I, like it's like they fall from trees, uh, and this is it's, and they call them. I think they're falling. They, they, they fly. And they like they'll do it to like get her across rivers and stuff, yes, right? I think awful. I know what you're like, talking. Like they'll like it's launch out of like trees. Yeah, they yeah. can like actively glide. It's horrifying. I'm actually gonna like have to throw up. Like this is making me uncomfortable. Wow. <laughs> Don't look at it. Chriso Chrysopelia, more commonly known as the flying snake or gliding snake. What the flying fuck? snakes are mildly venomous. Oh my mildly. god. Mildly. <laughs> mild. Now it's like, it's like a mild curry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do not you scroll past this. <laughs> their range is southeast, southeast Asia, southernmost China, What's India, their and Sri Lanka. Flying range. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> flying, flying speed. <laughs> and outside Danny Carr's Things house. Things to yeah. know. How far? About 300 feet from the tops of trees. No! Wow. Wow. Wait, wait. Jumping. But they're on. That's cool. But, they're, but is that like speed. a 300 foot tree? Speed around 25. Five miles no! per hour. No! Oh my god! No! Falling? They're just jumping. And <laughs> <laughs> snakes should not be able to jump. It should be able to jump. Wait, wait yeah, they'll oh, launch wait. themselves into the air and glide down. Ah! How do they fly? But they're not flying. They're, they're just falling. gonna go like this. <laughs> it's a snake. It's not like they have wings. No, I think they oh, maybe they can. No, they legitimately. Can fly. Are they I'm like? Telling you? I think. Yeah. <laughs> I hate this. I hate oh, it. Now look, look at the picture. Stop. Okay, okay, let me see. Let me control see, it with the camera. Don't look. No, 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 no. And there's still a picture. Of he course, looks like he's it looks falling graceful. out of the sky. <laughs> I think they fall. I want to see Is a this video. Is oh, They're okay. falling. They're not flying. <laughs> I love we're talking about this incredible like, species of snake that can do this incredible thing, and Sam's like, it's just falling. <laughs> <laughs> It's not that cool. Can you glide through the air, Sam? Well, it chose to call itself a flying snake. It's got to earn that. That chose, by the way, was a huge tangent. You had not finished talking about it. No, I think that was, that's, but look at how close to life it is, right? Flying fucking snakes. 
I'm gonna have that you. kind of conversation. I'm with you on that because I lean more sci-fi than I do high fantasy. Right. Like very you more don't care for way very much. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> I lean way. Yeah. I I much prefer. Sci-fi I just th- I just think it's so much more. It, it's fascinating because it just feels weirdly, even though it's you could probably see it as kind of crazy and opposite of the spectrum. It just feels closer to home. Yeah, it's a well, good point. It's easy it's to point. it's easy to cover like you know, the atrocities of mankind and capitalism and all the themes that we like yeah. relate to, that we have to deal with. Right. But like on a hyper consequence yeah. scale. So yeah, because I, I love sci-fi too. Yeah. Give me a, give me, give me, give me a top, a top three sci-fi <laughs> films that you love. Is that too hard? Or Is books. three too hard? Or, or books. books. Or want, video games. Or video games. IPs. Okay. Friends. Or give me however many you friends? want. <laughs> I'm saying okay. give me top sci-fi oh. friends. Oh, I thought you meant like friends, the television oh, no. show. <laughs> <laughs> friends? I don't think that's yeah. sci-fi. Yeah, <laughs> sci-fi. Sci-fi? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Cheers. I would say. I promise we've moved past 1997. Okay. Yeah. I would say Annihilation is pretty cl- like up there. Ooh. I love Annihilation. Books as well. Uh, if we're doing books as well, oh, Annihilation God. books. Yeah, that series. Yeah, that, yeah. That I, I think film-wise, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. The film, gorgeous. I mean, it's a beautiful film. Yeah. Um, and the concept. That's uh, so genius. Which is kind of similar to what you're saying, where it's, you're like, it's, it's broad, but also like. It's just close. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God. There you go. Um, I am a massive fan. Of probably the Alien series. Yes. I've heard yeah, of that. That's me all day like, long. Alien's fucking dope. Yeah. And oh god. And something else that begins with A. <laughs> <laughs> all triple A, I think. Um, Arrival. <laughs> Arrival's very, very good. good Arrival's fucking good. Yeah. yeah. Um, but no, I'm gonna no, I'd say like if we're gonna do video games as well, I'm a huge fan of Mass Effect. I think Mass Effect yes. is fucking dope. Yes. I think it's, it's a really great cool. franchise. Never yeah. Played Mass Effect. <gasps> Unbelievable. Oh, Ashley, you would oh, love no. it. You would. Ashley. No, because well, no. like you like Dragon Age. Yes. Yeah. But it's it's the same vibe. It's the exact it's same vibe, but, but, but it's But is it hard to go back? You know, when you so go to like early, early. Yeah. Well, I guess. Well, they no, did they just, so. no, they just they did. Yeah. Oh, they did I a remaster. It because yeah. they did a remaster that came the out a couple years ago. Yes. And it was um, fucking great. So and that's how I now. started playing it because I was I didn't play it whenever it first came out, and so but later, then the too. but then the remaster came you out. You would love I was it, like, dude. Hell yeah. Yeah. Give it a go. Yeah. Definitely, it's really really good. What's the console it's on? Everything. Everything. Okay. Yeah. It's on switches, I think. Yeah. Don't quote me on that. Steam Deck. Don't know about that. Steam Deck. Steam Deck. Yeah. Steam Deck's so bad. They're so nice. See, and I'm the, op- I'm the opposite. I'm so high fantasy like because <laughs> I like the fact that it's a little bit, it's more literally fantastical yeah. than our real life. I like that I can get lost in the magic and the world building in something that does not mirror the world that I'm in because holy shit, the world that I'm in kind of sucks a too. lot of the time. And so too. I'm like, what if there were dragons in yeah. magic <laughs> and it was just a little, a little bit easier and pretty dresses. See, that's the one thing yeah. sci-fi does not have going for it. No pretty dresses. No, that's not true. That's not true. <gasps> what about Star Wars? Star Wars is just fantasy in space. That's but it sci-fi is, very... is often. Well, no, 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 no. Um... Star Wars is just is just high fantasy in space. And on that controversial note, that's I, all the time I, we I, have for four sided dice. I just want to thank uh, Marisha Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Were you gonna name a mo- uh I'm sorry. I was thinking of um, the uh, fucking Bruce Willis. Fuck, what's the name? Fucking Element. 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 Mary Sheree, Laura me. Bailey, Sam Regal, Ashley Johnson, me. and our fabulous law keeper, Danny Carr. Who's that? I've been your totally human, non-Android host, Abubakar Salim. Good night for, 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 for. Tap his back. What do we do? Friends around the table, time to celebrate. It's a party, hit the lights, here we go, go, go. Waste the night away with a little escape. It's a chance.
to lose. 